but they finished strong. Boston College, they won three in a row, and they won a bowl game last year. Boston College completely changed philosophies offensively, and they're going to come in with an up-tempo, but they've got to stay sound, and defensively for the front seven, completely rebuilt for Northern Illinois. All right, and meanwhile, for Boston College defense, it's been the staple, and they're led by an All-American, a superstar, Harold Landry, and he's our eye vision. Trying to slide protection to help, beats it. Inside hand is able to chop it down, bend around the edge, gets a clean sack of Deshaun Watson. We're looking now, what do you do? You bring the running back over Boston College blitzes, creates a one-on-one, -on -one easy matchup win for Landry on the inside and athleticism. Watch him still, that inside hand chop, but they call that running the hoop. Not a loss of momentum getting after the quarterback. 16 and a half sacks last year to lead the country. Now they had a quarterback battle all camp. It's redshirt freshman quarterback Anthony Brown who's going to make his first career start. They just announced that before the game. Northern Illinois still yet to announce it. Whether it's redshirt junior Ryan Graham or redshirt sophomore Daniel Santa Catarina. Both played last year. One of them will start tonight. Now it has been a gorgeous week. But it is cold tonight, which will help my large friend David Deal because it's only in the mid-50s. Sweat factor at a minimum for every <laughs> offensive lineman and defensive lineman tonight. So we are set to go. First ACC team coming to DeKalb in 14 years. Boston College will get the ball first. Christian Hagen set to kick it off. Back deep to receive Michael Walker for Boston College. 2017 season underway here in DeKalb. Coming on out, it's Ben Glines, breaks a tackle, and Glines gets it out to the 27-yard line where Boston College will take over. Here are tonight's Chick-fil-A starting lineups. And as we mentioned, Anthony Brown, redshirt freshman from Cliffwood, New Jersey, beat out Darius Wade in camp. And David, they told us they're very excited about, yes, he's dual threat, but he can throw the football. They're very excited because he creates that matchup where defenses have to play 11 on 11 football, but they say his strength is throwing the ball downfield. Right out of the gates. It's an end around for Boston College and near the sticks. Pickup of nine yards on the sweep. It's an experienced offensive line. John Baker, Chris Lindstrom up front, but it's John Hilleman who they're excited. They said that he had the best camp as he's had in Boston College. They got the first down and Hilleman gets the handoff right through the middle and brought down by Bobby Jones, outside backer for this Northern Illinois defense that struggled against the run last year, but they are excited up front about Sutton Smith. Sutton Smith can get after the quarterback, one of the top five fastest guys on the team, but will he hold up against the run? Three yard pickup on first down, Brown. Easy first pass, he's got a completion. That's Jeff Smith breaking tackles down to the 48 yard line. Pickup of 10 yards and the first career completion for Anthony Brown. Offense, number 67. 10 yard penalty, second down. Well, you know when you're in open space that you've got to get your hands inside. Clear hold outside by Montanero. And what do they need to do? They have a successful drive. But what did its offensive coordinator and head coach say? They cannot have those drive-killing penalties. And they need to start fast, considering it is their first live start. It's a Boston College offense that each of the last two years has finished in the last four in the country in total offense. Play action for Brown on second and 16. Deep shot, in stride! Michael Walker, but he dropped it! Michael Allen. On the field, an incomplete pass, third down. They hit him in stride, but Walker couldn't hang on. Well, Boston College said that they were gonna come out aggressive. They ran the reverse, they ran inside zone, they ran the bubble screen, and here's their shot. It is open, but what does Michael Walker have to do? If you wanna help your quarterback in his first start, you can't have that drop. So third and 16. Open drive again for an offense that said nothing like you said, David, has to stay in front of the downs. Brown taking a shot again. He can escape out of the pocket, but not gonna get anywhere near the sticks. Josh Corcoran chased him down. Pickup of seven, but it'll bring up fourth down. The defensive backs and the defense of Northern Illinois talked about. They've got to stay fresh, they've got to stay fast, and they want to make sure 
they condense any type of lanes for the receivers. Nice job on the defensive end. Could have been almost a covered sack. We see him use his legs, try to escape, but a nice start for the Northern Illinois defense. Mike Knoll, the punt it away for Boston College. Chad Beebe, the son of Don Beebe, with the fair catch back at the 13-yard line. And so that's where Northern Illinois will come out on offense. And their starting lineup brought to you by Chick-fil-A. So the question, and it's Ryan Graham the answer. Redshirt junior out of Wheaton, Illinois, the starting quarterback for the Huskies. Four starts last year, injuries throughout the season. Also had four starts as a redshirt freshman. But again, they told us throughout the course of this week, it's the junior season where a guy has to make a big step, and that's why they're going with Ryan Graham. Graham keeps himself on first down. Picks up a couple of yards. Will Harris from his safety spot comes up to make the stick. Offensive lineup for Northern Illinois. Max Sharping, they love him at left tackle. And he is a NFL prospect, only giving up one pressure on the outside every 428 snaps. It's the left side of the offensive line with experience. The right side completely new for this NIU offense. On the pitch, Marcus Jones, and he is drilled. Max Richardson. First time starter, the true sophomore out of Duluth, Georgia, as we take a look at the Boston College defense. Talked about Harold Landry, but they're really excited about Connor Strahan as well at linebacker. Rightfully so. This guy can do everything. He can run, he can hit, he is a leader, and he has a tremendous motor that he does not give up. Third and five for the Huskies on their own 19. They need the 24. Last year, 41% on third down. Graham settles into the pocket. He takes a deep shot. And way over the head of Christian Blake, the returning, leading returning receiver from a year ago. And so a quick three and out for NIU. Well, that's the one start, and that's one thing that they talked about by Mike Urenovich, the offensive coordinator. He said, we have to be consistent in the opening drive. You see him take the shot. You see they run the riddle zone read. But the biggest thing for them, they have got to get the ball to the perimeter, try to spread out this defense of Boston College and create one-on-one -on -one matchups for receivers and their tight ends to make key blocks. Freshman punter for NIU, Matt Ference. Won the job in camp. Michael Walker, the fair catch. And so Boston College will take over on its own 38. So, Anthony Brown, little life. Can he get it going, though, in the second drive? Scoreless game. Away. Away is the smell of victory. And the smell of burgers. Away is always having home field advantage. Even when you're miles away from home. Find your away. For a dealer in the RV that's right for you, visit GoRVing.com. Game day right. Get one of three breakfast items free in September when you order with the Chick-fil-A One app. Time for the biggest sale of the year with the new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. It senses your every move and automatically adjusts on both sides to keep you effortlessly comfortable. And snoring? Does your bed do that? The new 360 Smart Bed is part of our biggest sale of the year where all beds are on sale. And right now, save 50% on the Labor Day Limited Edition Bed plus 36 month financing ends Monday. A couple of quick opening drives for Boston College in Northern Illinois. 
scoreless game. Jason Horowitz, my offensive man, David Deal up in the booth, but our defensive guy, our safety, Eric Coleman, down on the field, third member of our team. Eric? Thanks, Jason. With it being opening day, tackling is a big concern for both teams. Now, the, with the NCAA change of rules, there's only three days of tackling per week. So it's a concern for both teams. Northern Illinois hasn't tackled in two weeks. Boston College has only thudded throughout training camp. So it's, it was, they were both great on the first series. We'll see how they tackle as the game progresses. Back to you guys. And right away, what did we talk about for Boston College offensively? They've got to stay on track. Two penalties on their opening drive came out with good openers and a good game plan stretching the perimeter hitting the inside zone getting the wide receiver screen but all of that was null and void with the penalties that they had steve adazio seventh year he had two seasons at temple this is the fifth year at boston college 24 and 27 they're coming off a seven and six year he's had three of those on the hill meanwhile rod carey here at niu last year a five and seven season but when we talked to him yesterday finishing four and one they were pumped up about what they could be but they also said they were embarrassed hilleman on the carry on first down mckelty williams transfer from notre dame makes the tackle pickup of about six on first in boston college this is the tempo you were talking about but there is an injury behind the line of scrimmage it's devin webster looks like he just lost a shoe well it's a good thing because they do not have a big lineup interior for the northern illinois defense Just looks like he got tripped up and lost a shoe. That's happened to me before. Were you allowed to put it back on? Uh, actually, I was. That was the good thing that I'm looking across the line and I see DeMarcus Ware. I'm like, I better have a shoe on. <laughs> Second and four, Anthony Brown on the pitch. It's Hilleman. He is met by Kyle Pugh. Rolled to the church. Shawan Lurie there as well. Third down. David, what are the keys to the ball game for you? For BC, you've got all of your returning rushers. You've got five to six offensive line with over 87 starts. Get the ball running. And NIU, the defensive front seven are thin. They've got to stop the run. Trying to do that on third and two. Hilleman makes one man miss. Pushes his way past the sticks. And a first down for John Hilleman, the redshirt junior out of Plainfield, New Jersey, who as a freshman two years ago, 860 yards, 13 touchdowns, but had a fractured foot in 2015 against NIU in this ballgame. Really struggled last year, but they're excited about his return for his redshirt junior season. On first and ten, it's play action. Brown escapes the pocket. Launches it and just throws it out of bounds. Lives to play second down. And that is a defensive player that they've all talked about. Sutton Smith has gained over 30 pounds, and he can get after the quarterback, creates that pressure, makes Brown roll out of the pocket, nowhere to go with the football. So we've seen a couple of smart plays from the redshirt freshman in his first start. Quick pass, Jeff Smith. Still going near the 45. Albert Smalls drives him out of bounds, and it'll bring up third and about six for this Boston College offense. This is the area that this Boston College offense needs to be in, but what is the biggest thing that they need to do defensively for Northern Illinois? They have got to get penetration, and they've got to get him off of his mark so he doesn't throw an effective football at quarterback. Couple of tight ends in the ballgame for the Eagles, including Tommy Sweeney, 26 catches last year. Brown looks for Sweeney, and it's intercepted! Kyle Pugh ran it perfectly, and the first big mistake for the freshman, and then it's intercepted. Right away, defensively, they talked about it. They have to create turnovers and takeaways. That one, Anthony Brown is staring down his receiver. What did Kyle Pugh do? Eyes on, great jump on the ball, key takeaway. NIU with a short field thanks to its defense here in the first quarter. Hi, gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up, put on a happy face. Red sunshine.
Play DraftKings free $100,000 contest week one. And if you draft the perfect lineup, you can win $1 billion. Use promo code SAFETY because you don't just want to watch, you want to play. Shop like a pro at Bass Pro Shops for huge savings, like Redhead Pocket Tees and Henley starting at two for $20. This 10 and a half quart aluminum fish fryer for under $30. Plus free kids activities this weekend at Bass Pro Shops. The famously flippable, often imitated, never duplicated Dairy Queen Blizzard. There's absolutely nothing like it, unless there's two. Right now, buy your favorite Blizzard and get another for just 99 cents. That's buy one, get one for 99 cents. Do you feel sluggish or tired throughout the day? Have you ever thought the problem could be your liver? My liver? Your liver cleanses your body of things like too much food and drink. And if it's all clogged up, you feel sluggish and tired. But there is something you can do. Take Liverite Liverade, the natural dietary supplement just for your liver. Liverite helps your liver work properly so you can feel more energized. Cleanse your liver. Feel the energy. Live right with Liverite. Thanks, Liverite. Available at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Walmart. I'm really excited. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By Verizon. Not just unlimited, Verizon Unlimited. And by Chick-fil-A. Start game day strong with the new breakfast hash brown scramble bowl. All right, welcome you back here to DeKalb, where Northern Illinois takes over after an interception thrown by Anthony Brown. And Ryan Graham with the sweep with DJ Brown gets to the outside. Shoved out of bounds after a three-yard pickup. But David Deal, take us back to this interception. Anthony Brown wants to get it to his tight end right here. Tommy Sweeney, but on the back end, what does Justin Pugh do? He has his eyes through, sees the quarterback eyeing him down, comes up with a huge interception. Just one of four for Anthony Brown. This is the second drive for NIU. And I just said my old teammate, Justin Pugh, Kyle Pugh. <laughs> Hand off inside, Huff. Explosive speed and gets out to the 46. So it'll bring up third and three, Will Harris. Coming up, and again, Anthony Brown, you got to wonder the nerves. He beat out Darius Wade, fourth-year junior for the job. But again, it wasn't announced until about an hour before the game when they told us that he was going to get the start. And I know that you want to go up-tempo offensively for Boston College, but ease the quarterback in, get the run game going, let your offensive line beat up the D-line, and then let him take his shots. Third and three for Graham. You remember, he won the quarterback battle for NIU as well. Pressure comes, settles in, nobody around. A late flag thrown. Personal foul. Rough in the passer. Defense number eight. 15 yard penalty. First down. And that's Will Harris, the safety. Jeff McGonaghy, our official. Take a look. Easy call. Now it looked like Will Harris led with the crown of his helmet above the neck and head area. And remember, replay officials can stop the game whether or not they want to look at targeting. And we know the emphasis that they're putting on it, so he may get called if they stop it, but if they don't... Well, nothing called from the replay booth, so play on. Graham on the roll, and hits a strike! Chad Beebe down to the 21-yard line, missed all of last year with a knee injury. They're ecstatic to have the fifth-year senior back. He is a perfect route runner, and what did they say? He is the security blanket for Ryan Graham. Right away, eyes downfield, perfect route, able to come back to the football. Key conversion here in this drive. Huskies on the edge of the red zone. This drive started with a Kyle Pugh interception. Full start on the flag. offense. Number 71, five-yard penalty, first down. That is Isaac Hahn, true freshman from St. Charles playing right tackle, and they were not necessarily sure tonight what this right side of the offensive line would look like. They really weren't. Obviously, we know that Nathan Velos was going to start at right guard, but they started Ryan Roberts. Is it going to be Isaac Hahn? we got to get some type of rotation so that our offensive linemen stay fresh and they can be on the attack. They were very concerned with this Boston College front seven, and again, it was a BC defense, top ten in the country each of the last two years in total D. Graham settles in the pocket, throws over the head of Jordan Hall. Thought there was contact. 
High swab in coverage, but no flag, and it'll bring up second and 15. The Boo Birds come out here at Northern Illinois, and you see it, it, it's almost there, but not a chance. There wasn't anything that disrupted the timing, didn't reroute the receiver. It was just a hand, no pass interference. Rod Carey likes his running backs, Jordan Huff. He likes Marcus Jones as well. They're excited to have Tommy Mister, a transfer from Indiana in his second year. He's got a stable. Two on the play clock. Jess gets it off. Hand off to Huff, runs right into the middle of that defense. And it'll bring up third and very long for NIU. If you notice Northern Illinois, what are they doing? A lot of stems, a lot of shifting, trying to see if Boston College can communicate to one another. But where we are, third and manageable, this is where Northern Illinois needs to be. Something Mike Juranovich told us, their offensive coordinator, if it's third and 10, if it's third and 12, they might just go draw, they might play it safe because they don't want to give sacks to a defense that had 47 last year. He runs the quarterback, Graham gets it to the outside, and he goes down at the 15-yard line. Tajamir Torres coming up from the cornerback spot to make the stop. And so that'll bring up fourth down and about four, and here comes the kicking unit. And we talked about them getting the ball to the perimeter, obviously a quarterback keep, but what do you also want to do? You also need to protect your quarterback in this football game because we know going through four last season, it will affect and ruin their season. So Christian Hagen, the senior, comes on. Not his best junior year. He missed seven field goals last year after missing just seven combined in his freshman and sophomore seasons. This from 32 yards out. And NIU converts the interception into three in the opening lead of the season. Anthony Brown's pick, but it doesn't cost him a touchdown. It's 3 nothing NIU. Long live the courageous, the tenacious, the ones who push forward and give back. Long live the greater good, the helping hand, and long live the truck built to outlast them all. Ram, America's longest lasting pickups. Now get 0% financing for 36 months or an average 10,336 in total values on the 2017 Ram 2500 Laramie. You know Geico just saved me hundreds of dollars on my car insurance? Huh, I should take a closer look at Geico. Geico has a 97% customer satisfaction rating and fast and friendly claim service. Speaking of service. Ooh, just out. It was in. Out. In. Out. In. What about now? That was our only shuttlecock. Take a closer look at Geico. Great savings and a whole lot more. It's time for the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. The year's best deals on the world's best-selling ATVs and side-by-sides. Now is the time to buy with rebates up to $4,000. Get started at Polaris.com. Makes the new DiGiorno crispy pan pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. Pan, pan, you pan, bake it fresh pan, in its own pan, giving our new DiGiorno pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Hey, Bill, watch car for me? Sure. Hmm. Have a nice day. Shop like a pro for great deals on great gear during the Labor Day sale at Bass Pro Shops. Seven minutes to go opening quarter here in DeKalb in Northern Illinois leading Boston College 3-0. Well, please help those affected by Hurricane Harvey certainly the last 10 days. Visit redcross.org for more information. And we want to give our mention to our lead audio mixer, Matt Weaver, as well, has personally been affected. He lives in the Kingwood area of Houston. He has not been able to get back home since the hurricane. He says his house was minor flooding. His neighbors were devastated, though, and our thoughts certainly going out to everyone affected by this tragedy. And... Mike Uramovich, the offensive coordinator here at NIU, 
His brother, Matt, who you know, David Deal, yep. linebacker at Georgia Tech, now an Army Ranger, he's down there helping rescue people. And more than just rescue people, he talked about the dogs, the animals that are just stranded and stuck. So it's unbelievable how everybody's coming together to make a huge difference and impact to help everybody in Houston. So he wanted to send along his well wishes to his brother, Matt, and everybody else helping out down there. And of course, we do as well. So BC about to get the ball back. Interception turning to three points. Short kickoff coming to Glines at the five, and here he comes. Ben Glines, Matt, 16-yard line. McKelty Williams making the tackle. And so Boston College backed up, and this is the offense that Anthony Brown has been dealing with the last two years. Two seasons ago, defense was number one in the country, but they did not win an ACC game because they couldn't move the football. And last year, they won seven games despite being 127th in the country. And it's because of the way their defense played down the stretch to keep this offense and this team in games. Now, this has been a team throughout the years that you know in terms of power running. Andre Williams a few years ago. Now they're hoping John Hillman can be that guy this year. Breaks it to the outside, nowhere to go. Albert Smalls, Michael Allen from the secondary. Maybe one on the pickup. This is exactly what they needed to do, condense the pocket. They were wondering how Sutton Smith would hold up. Does a nice job inside. You see the defensive line. Don't give up any movement on the double teams. Meanwhile, Devin Webster lost the exact same shoe. You need to get spat it up. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Last year at Arizona Western. On second down, end around. Thad Smith breaks it to the outside, and Thad Smith with the big play for Boston College out to the 39-yard line. Good block outside by Chris Garrison. Gets things going. Look, you see him pulling around. Gets the kickout block. Nice hole, easy run, and that is exactly what Boston College needs to do. Stay with your identity, run the football, make them wear you down. Play action on first down. Brown out of the backfield. It's Ray Martin who is upended. Brought down Jalen Embry. Cornerback went low. Pick up a two. Anthony Brown, two of five. Not much there on second down either. And that'll bring up third and long again for this Boston College offense. Nice job by the linebacker, Juwan Johnson. You know that they need to penetrate. They need to slash. They're not big enough and strong enough to two-hand shed the guards for Boston College. This is a whole new front seven for NIU as well. They were 98th in the country in total defense. Six new starters along the front seven. Brown, shovel pitch, and NIU was ready. Inside to Michael Walker and nowhere to go. Kyle Pugh again with a big play on third down. And it actually starts with the defensive end, Josh Cochran, right here. What does he do? Forces the football back to where the flow of the defense is. Nice job being sound up front, maintaining gap discipline, and giving nothing up. And I used to that they thought that Boston College, they could contain them on the inside. Their concern was maybe on the outside. And so far, they've done a good job. Lowell left-footed boot, and BB the fair catch at the 15-yard line, and that's where NIU will take over. Huskies biggest home opener in years, and they got the lead in the first quarter. This golden opportunity features silicon, microprocessors, and code. Raw elements transformed into innovation by Lexus. Experience advanced safety technology at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event before it ends. Lease the 2017 RX 350 for $399 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Come on. Excuse me. Mind if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess. Can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting, and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yeah, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. 
Say what you like Pay on no mind Cause I've heard it before A thousand times while other insurance companies just see a truck, we see something you've worked really hard for. So why not give it the protection it deserves? It's just what you see. This is the 0811 X driver from PXG. Without a doubt, it's the longest, lowest spinning, best feeling, sweetest sounding driver we've ever made. Kaboom, baby! PXG, nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Jason Horowitz, David Deal, Eric Coleman down on the field. Happy to welcome you back to Husky Stadium. NIU leading 3-0 with 443 to go in the opening quarter. Uh, let's check in on Larry's Pro Show, brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Here in DeKalb, that's where that star is right there, top of the state of Illinois. It's a city named after Baron Johann DeKalb, Revolutionary War general, and died in 1780 in battle. David, did you know that DeKalb is also a city in Alabama, Georgia, Indiana, Missouri, New York, Tennessee, and Texas? I did not know that, but Meaning growing that. up in Illinois and in Chicago, I did know that there was a DeKalb, Illinois. And you came here many times, twice. <laughs> So Ryan Graham brings the offense back out into the field after a drive that resulted in a field goal on first down and a short throw to BB. Got underneath it to make the catch. What are your keys for NIU here as we're deep into the first quarter? For NIU, they need to get the ball to the perimeter. They've got to spread out this Boston College defense, and they have got to use jet sweeps, tosses, pitches, anything to wear them down sideline to sideline for Boston College. Limit big plays. They gave up last season. 32 plays of 30 plus yards that equaled nine plus points per game. Graham keeps it himself on second down, pushes his way out to the 24, and it'll bring up third and about a yard for NIU, which is exactly what they told us yesterday. We need to be in third and three, third and two if we have any chance offensively of moving the football. And as of right now, what have they done successfully when they have passed it? They've neutralized Harold Landry. Why? Because they're using Shane Wyman their tight end, the jack of all trades, to protect, chip, block, do anything to minimize his effectiveness. Graham turns around, hands it off. Marcus Jones through the line and has a first down. Jones didn't have any carries last year, played just two games back from injury, but picks up the first down. The product of Brother Rice High School, where I went to school, Great run by him, but also a great job by the offensive line, moving the line of scrimmage, getting that push for the first down. The Huskies team last year that moved the ball on the ground. They had four starting quarterbacks with injuries. The push, quick pass, Jones bobbles it, and it's incomplete. Graham got rid of it. Isaac Yidem was out in coverage, the lengthy corner. And that would have been a nice start after the conversion on the third down to keep the chains moving, keep that momentum, because they said Marcus Jones is a dynamic player out of the backfield and creates mismatches and bad things for linebackers and safeties. Husky started the year last season one and six, lost close games, lost quarterback injuries, finished four and one as Graham can't find Christian Blake. And talking to the head coaching staff about the offense last year, like, look, sometimes you get unlucky with injuries, and that happened. They lost their starter, Drew Heron, in the second game of the season. But we have to have better quarterback play here this season, particularly from Ryan Graham. Yes, they do, because they've got to help out not only their offensive line that has two redshirt sophomores on the right side, but they have to help out this young defense. The third and ten. Graham on the pitch. It's Tommy Mister at Boston College all over him in the backfield. Will Harris again, Zach Allen there as well, and that'll bring up fourth and long. And again, the quarterbacks, five different quarterbacks the last two years have started at least one game here in DeKalb. And what does that not give you offensively? An identity, because you're trying to transfer. You're trying to come up with a game plan. Your offensive line need to come up with a cadence that they're familiar with, so you just have to simplify your offense so much. So Matt Ferentz, true freshman from St. Louis for his second career punt. It's a wobbly one that bounces at the 40. 
and goes out of bounds right around the 41 yard line. Punt of just 31 yards. Well, we were talking about this Northern Illinois defense with a question, how would they hold up? It's a new one. Do you like them so far? I do, because what are they doing? They're minimizing the effectiveness of Boston College, especially on the edges. They're forcing them to throw the ball. And what are they getting? They had a key takeaway. And also, they are not letting the bigs of Boston College up front dominate this game. We saw that play with Michael Walker. It was early in the opening drive for BC. He caught that maybe a totally different game, but instead, Anthony Brown just three of six for eight yards. Settles down over the middle. It's caught. And a late flag coming in. Jeff Smith made the grab. Personal foul. Horse collar tackle defense. Number six. 15 yard penalty. First down. And that's a new emphasis here in college football that you can no longer pull someone down by their nameplate area. The nameplate is considered that part of the shoulder pad now, so that is an immediate personal foul, 15 yard penalty. So that on Bobby Jones, and it brings BC into NIU territory for the first time. And AJ Dillon, true freshman, running back in for the first time. He gets the handoff, breaks through, and gets down to the 35 yard line. Down to the third member of our team, Eric Coleman. These offensive linemen from Boston College, they've been running a lot of misdirections. They're staying disciplined, staying in their lanes. We'll see how they continue to progress, especially with A.J. Dillon, the freshman dynamic running back, entering the game. Six foot 240, and you texted us before the game that he is all of 240. Dillon gets the carry again, breaks it to the outside, down to the 33, but Bobby Jones brings him down. He's 6'4 and 240, but what did he also have? A 10, 600-meter sprint. This guy can run, he is dynamic, and his size, his lower body strength, allows him to run through any arm tackle, and he will run over a defensive back if he has a chance. Now that is the third time here in this opening quarter that an NIU player has had to come off the field because they lost a shoe. Get spatted up, take your shoes up, but what also did it do? It slowed down Boston College's drive a little bit. You're not insinuating game plan there, are you? No. On third down, the pitch, it's Dillon. He's got the first down for Boston College. Gets to the 28-yard line. Jones again on the tackle. But A.J. Dillon, top-rated player in the state of Massachusetts, picks up the first down. They get a Ted block, tight end down, getting to tackle around, do a nice job at the point of attack, and get him in open space. Easily best drive of the game, and it was assisted by a penalty. Brown out of space towards the five-yard line, and it's knocked away. Jeff Smith, the intended receiver, McKelty Williams, the safety in coverage. Much better job this last time containing him and not letting him run out because the last couple times, they didn't have a forced defender, and if he would have kept his eyes up, he could have run for a big game. Williams started his career at Notre Dame. Spent last year at Iowa Western. They said they knew they had something special when he got on campus here this summer. Brown on second down. Incomplete. It's over the head of his tight end, Tommy Sweeney. So third and long again for this Boston College offense. You see Tommy Sweeney, the security blanket. He's going out, but you look. Was that for Michael Walker? It was in between both of them. And that's something that you expect from this quarterback. Some inconsistencies throwing. On third down, crowd to life, and it caused movement for Boston College. Start, offense, number 67, five-yard penalty, third down. Now defensively, what are you aware of? You're going to be looking for draws and screens. Here's the left tackle. That little movement. Easy to call, especially at left tackle position. The eye in the sky does not lie. Well, now the other problem for Boston College as well. This would be a 50-yard field goal. They don't get a yard. Colton Lichtenberger only kicked two last year. He missed them both. Brown on third down, escapes the pocket, picks up some yards, and gets it to a more manageable field goal situation down to the 25-yard line. Antonio Jones Davis, the backup linebacker, brought him down. But this now would be about a 42-yard field goal, so Brown did his job picking up eight. 
He did his job picking up eight, but what did I say earlier in that last one? They've got to do a much better job on the outside of containing, bringing the pocket and pressing him in because he does have the ability to run with it. So this is Lichtenberger. Starting field goal kicker, won the job in camp. And he ties us at three with nine seconds to go in the opening quarter. Well, his nickname is Das Boot for Boston College, and that is a great start for him because what did they do last year? They missed one of three field goals and missed three PATs. Nine seconds to go, opening quarter. We are tied at three here in DeKalb. DeKalb, Northern Illinois and Boston College tied at three apiece. It's an Eagles team that last year only averaged 292 yards of offense. Here in the opening quarter, they've got 92. And after the 42-yard field goal, now it's Matt Schulze Geistevel, fifth-year senior who played soccer last year for BC, led him with seven goals. He's going to do some kickoff. And Das Boots sends it through the end zone. And so NIU will bring it back out to the 25-yard line. So Ryan Graham will lead this offense back out into the field. But have you been impressed with the offensive line here for NIU? Remember, left side, they have liked it. They've got starters, experience, right side, no experience, and they've neutralized Boston College. But they've done a nice job by doing chips with the running back, keeping w Shane Wyman in to protect. They've been rolling the pocket, full play action. So they know to protect him, and here he is, Harold Landry. He's over on the sidelines here for this what could be final play of the opening quarter. About 60 yards of offense for NIU here in this quarter. Graham fakes it, keeps it, gets to the outside. And Ryan Graham's got a lot of space. Graham across midfield. Has a block. the end of the first quarter. Well, you said Boston College had to limit the big plays, and Ryan Graham just broke it off for 60. End of the first quarter here in DeKalb on CBS Sports Network. It is hard work being this good. I must be nothing but a chump to you. Bald head. Because it's hard work making something this pretty day look like a chump. Yo, can I get two out of three? Get up, get up, get up, get there. Away. Is where curiosity can run its course. Where little feet run wild. Where laughter runs rampant. And adventure runs in the family. Find your way. For a dealer in the RV that's right for you, visit GoRVing.com. Play DraftKings free $100,000 contest week one. And if you draft the perfect lineup, you can win $1 billion. Use promo code SAFETY because you don't just want to watch, you want to play. Okay, I picked out my dream car. Now's the really fun part. Choosing the color, the wheels, the interior, everything exactly how I want it. Here's the thing. 
Just because I configured this car online doesn't mean it really exists at a dealership. But with TrueCar, I get real pricing on actual cars in my area. I see what others paid for them, and they show me the ones that match the car I want. So I know I can go to a True Car certified dealer, and it'll be right there waiting for me. Today. Right now. This is True Car. If you or a loved one has mesothelioma or any other asbestos-related cancer, call now. Asbestos manufacturers sold deadly asbestos materials to thousands of companies, putting workers at risk. An estimated $30 billion in court-ordered trusts have been set aside to pay out claims to asbestos victims. You may be entitled to a portion of these funds and receive compensation without filing a lawsuit or ever going to court. For your free legal consultation, call 1-800-453-1768. That's 1-800-453-1768. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. Jason Horwitz, David Deal, Eric Coleman, 3-3, start of the second quarter. NIU at 50 yards, their first 15 plays, but Ryan Graham just broke off a 60-yarder. And great recognition by him because who is he watching? The defensive end, Zach Allen. You see Ryan Graham hold that ball in there to Jordan Howard to the last minute. He sees that Allen crashes, gives the wide open play to the perimeter for a huge run. And now what does Boston College have to do? Now they have to spread out and make sure that they protect that. Well, it's an NIU team that knew they had to neutralize Harold Landry, but he was not on the field on that last play, and he's not on the field right now. But that had nothing to do whether he was out there or not because they have high hopes and expectations for Zach Allen. And you know facing this NIU offense, you've got to contain the quarterback and force him inside. You can't let him break contain. Jordan Huff with Graham on first down and 10 to the end zone. Nice job by the offensive line, but the person who holds things up for him, Jordan Huff. Delayed blitz on the outside by Boston College. He's able to fit it in, hold it, give Ryan Graham enough time. Conversion to a big touchdown for Northern Illinois. First career touchdown reception for the converted running back. Hagan on for the extra point. And big plays. That was the thing. BC was worried about limiting. They thought they could do it. Not on that drive. Graham to Brown and NIU up by a touchdown. This is our summer vacation. This is how we unwind. This is our day at the beach. And this is the Acura MDX. Hurry to the Acura Summer Performance Event for some of the most exciting offers of the year. At least the 2017 Acura MDX for $4.99 a month for well-qualified customers. Don't miss this event going on now. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, it's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we take a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are, no matter what your name is. three breakfast items free in September when you order with the Chick-fil-A One app.
Now a 5,000 yard rusher in high school in Little Rock, but a 15 yard reception, his first receiving touchdown. And DJ Brown has got NIU up 10 3. Sunday night at 8 Eastern, the steel gates fly open for the most unpredictable eight seconds in sports. Don't miss the PBR Built For Tough Series Windstar World Resort Invitational right here on CBS Sports Network. So a drive that got into the red zone thanks to a 60 yard run from their quarterback, Ryan Graham. And now Christian Hagen set to kick it away. Remember, this is an NIU team that won four of its last five last season, but its first losing season in 10 years. It's a low kick from Hagen, and it's out of bounds. So they will give BC's offense an opportunity. Something that always happens in the beginning of the year. Always there's a, 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 a miscue special teams. Kick Bad out of bounds, kicking kick team. The ball he plays the 35 yard line, first down. While well, we have a moment, let's send it to Brent Stover in New York with an update. Jay's an eighth ranked Washington at Rutgers. Been a tight one, but in the third quarter, Jake Browning, a touchdown throw to LeVon Coleman. 17 7, the Huskies lead, guys. All right, Brent, thank you very much. Last year, Washington dominated Rutgers. The closer here in the opener. The pitch on the outside, Hillman eating up Sutton Smith from a running back himself making the play. Hey, Eric, on that last Boston College, we go down to the sideline, Eric Coleman. Harold Landry wasn't in. Why? Well, defensive line coach Paul Pascalani wants to keep his ends fresh. And on first and second down, a lot of the times he'll leave, he'll leave, uh, uh, Landry on the sideline. He was strapped up, ready to come into the game. I assume we see him, but he didn't play those last two plays. Jeff Smith on the carry gets out to the 41 yard line. Interesting, though, that you don't have your best player. You're all American. Because remember, that was the first play of the second quarter. You know, like you said, they want to keep him fresh. And, and for that play, that's just discipline. That's mental on Zach Allen. So even if Har Harold Landry was in there, you never know how it would have turned out. Third down and five for Boston College. After the touchdown drive, Brown with a strike. Big time throw, Kobe White. Redshirt freshman, his first career catch. And they're into NIU territory. Trying to move the chains, you see it stacked on the outside. Nice little rub route, getting the defensive backs confused. A key play for Kobe Smith. And what do they say about him? He is a ACC receiver and the way that he wants to. Defense jumps for NIU. Offside defense, number 98 in the neutral zone, makes contact with the offensive lineman. Five yard penalty, first down. Well, they said Kobe White is a bona fide ACC receiver, big, can run but his physicalness, he is the guy that can win those 50-50 balls. And the speed, too, for Boston College, Steve Adazio telling us this week, it's the most speed they've had in his five years at Boston College. Brown trying to take advantage again, dumps it off. Coleman is driven. Jawan Johnson, Richard Jr. linebacker, stopped him in his tracks, no game. They're very excited about these linebackers for Northern Illinois. They can run, they can play defense. The biggest thing, though, they know that they can match up one-on-one -on -one with running backs out of the backfield in the passing game. Inexperienced in terms of starts, but they love him in terms of speed. Hilleman gets the carry. Tries to break it to the outside, but again, it's Sutton Smith. David, you highlighted him at the beginning of this game that he had to hold up on the edge, and he's doing it again. And that's something that they worried about because he's just gaining 30 pounds, but what is he doing? He's using that athleticism to his advantage. He's not getting stuck on blocks. He's getting into the backfield and penetrating, and he is playing relentless football now since he's earned that defensive end position. Holman eight carries, just 10 yards for Boston College. They're starting running back. BC is three of seven on third down, and this isn't gonna help. Brown has to go all the way back to his 45 to recover, and that'll bring up punt time again for the Eagles. 
These are the miscues that they talked about offensively for Boston College. You hear the quarterback and you see him trying to communicate still. And you don't see that out of John Baker, who is up for the Remington Award. He is a veteran player. He is a senior. These are the miscues that you cannot have on the road week one, especially when you need to gain the confidence and get the confidence in your quarterback. Big time boot for Noel all the way back to the two, and BB caught it. Instead of letting it go into the end zone, Chad BB caught it and only brought it back to the 11-yard line. Steve Adazio's team on the road and having some problems. Long live the courageous, the tenacious, the ones who push forward and give back. Long live the greater good, the helping hand, and long live the truck built to outlast them all. Ram, America's longest lasting pickups. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months on all. The famously flippable, often imitated, never duplicated Dairy Queen Blizzard. There's absolutely nothing like it, unless there's two. Right now, buy your favorite Blizzard and get another for just 99 cents. That's buy one, get one for 99 cents. Shop like a pro at Bass Pro Shops for huge savings during our Labor Day sale. And bring the kids this weekend for a backyard casting challenge. Duck pond, crafts, and more, all for free at Bass Pro Shops. You have the lowest fantasy football winnings I've ever seen. You have earnings dysfunction. I recommend DraftKings. And if you draft the perfect lineup in the free opening weekend contest, the prize is one billion dollars. You said a billion dollars? Billion, with the B. This is this is this is money. I, I know what that is. Play DraftKings free one hundred thousand dollar contest week one, and if you draft the perfect lineup, you can win one billion dollars. Use promo code Hurdle. This is a hernia mesh legal alert. If you experienced problems following a hernia repair that resulted in removal of the hernia mesh, you may have a case. Financial compensation may be available if your hernia mesh was removed due to severe pain, infection, allergic reaction, or other complications. Call now to find out if you have a case. Call 1-800-396-9648 for a free case evaluation. 1-800-396-9648. On CBS Sports Network. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Phillips 66. Proud to be here. By PXG. Nobody makes golf clubs the way we do. Period. And by Dr. Pepper. The one fans crave. Now, Matt Ryan passed for over 9,000 yards and 56 touchdowns in his college career at Boston College. ACC Player of the Year led BC for their first 10 win season since 1940. He had 4,500 yards his last year in Boston College. Their last three years combined, BC's quarterbacks have thrown for 4,800 yards. They're searching for that guy, and unfortunately, Anthony Brown, at least in his first start, hasn't settled in yet. Graham on first down and hand off Marcus Jones breaks a big play. He gets out to the 29 yard line for a pickup of 18. Once again, getting back to the perimeter. They're sealing it at the edge by the tight ends. They're making sure they're minimizing the effectiveness of Harold Landry and the defensive ends. And they're getting those big plays that they need. Third straight play of more than 15 yards for NIU. Graham gives it off. Christian Blake gets to the perimeter again. And there, that was your key to this game. NIU, get outside, use your speed. Because that is the way that they're going to create offense. And what did Boston College do last year? 32 plays of 30-plus yards. So Northern Illinois offensively knows they get them to the perimeter, they spread them out, they can start getting inside zones, get play action to take shots downfield. Six-yard pickup for Blake on the run. Beating returning receiver for a group that has to replace Kenny Galladay, third round pick. On the other side of the throw, it's caught Shane Wyman. And the tight end picks up a first down. Down to Eric Coleman. Hey, Eric, how are they getting to the outside? They're doing a great job of mixing things up with the jet sweeps, 
uh, throwing the ball outside in the perimeter. That's one thing that Mike Yurimovich talked about in our meeting. He wanted to get the playmakers out in the perimeter so they can take advantage of those matchups on the outside. Because they know interior, they can't win between the tackles one-on-one, -on -one, so they're creating one-on-ones in the blocking schemes and letting their playmakers work in space. Landry is back on the field for Boston College, top of the screen. They run away from Graham, lofts it downfield, and throws it out of bounds. D.J. Brown and Will Harris, the safety, was out in coverage. Moving the pocket, rolling it out, and once again, they're not getting that pressure by the defensive ends because of the way that they're moving. Jet sweeps, zone, tosses, pitches. Nice pass earlier to Wyman. They're doing anything to keep this Boston College defense on edge. And everything away from Landry. Graham runs away from Allen and slides down, gets to the 49-yard line. And that's something else that was brought up in meetings yesterday, too, about Ryan Graham. The negative plays has to eliminate the negative plays. We've seen him throw it away a couple of times, make a couple of big plays, and that one, third down, pick up a few yards. And the great thing that they're letting him do is also take those short, intermediate routes to make sure that he doesn't have to force anything. Let the game come to you. Just stick with the game plan and don't try to do anything outside of who you are. So third and five coming up for this Huskies offense. Up 10 to three, nine and a half to go in the opening half. There's that jet sweep again. It's Blake. Landry rips him down. Harold Landry throws him out of bounds. And it'll bring up fourth down for the Huskies. That, well, that time they couldn't get to the perimeter. You see him shed through two tight ends, able to get upfield and make a key stop defensively for Boston College. Preseason first team All-American. Led the nation last year, 16 and a half sacks, led the nation with seven forced fumbles. So Ferentz on for his third punt of the night. And it's a good one. Angles it out of bounds, and he drops it dead inside the five. At the four. 49-yard punt for the freshman. And it'll back up Boston College inside its own five-yard line. Freshman, not a bad debut on opening night. This golden opportunity features leather, wood, and glass. Raw elements made premium by Lexus. Experience unparalleled luxury at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event before it ends. Choose from the IS Turbo, ES 350, or NX Turbo for $299 a month for 36 months if you lease now. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Come on. Excuse me. Mind if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess. Can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting, and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yeah, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. Hello, gorgeous. You've got a body that just won't quit. BXG mill wedges start with a block of carbon steel, four and a half hours of milling, then painstaking finish work. Without a doubt, these are the sexiest, most consistent, best performing wedges we've ever made. PXG, nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Walter? Hmm? Is that the rest of our food? What? No. How can we have cheese in your beard? Because switching to Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh. Okay. Geico, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer. Whoa! 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 Gross! Brent Stover in New York, number nine, Wisconsin, finally on the board. A three-yard touchdown run, Bradrick Shaw. They just added a field goal, halftime, tied at 10 with the Utah State, guys. How about that? 
from the Aggies in Madison. 37 game win streak, non conference home game for the Badgers at Camp Randall. Remember, they're coming off the Cotton Bowl victory against the MAC champion, the best school from the Group of Five last year, Western Michigan, and PJ Fleck. And you know, in this opening week, that Utah State's coming in with nothing to lose. They're going to sell out and they want to make a name for themselves. So inside the five, Hillman, he's tripped up behind the line of scrimmage from Bobby Jones. Eric, Northern Illinois' defense, we were wondering about their communication. What are you hearing down there? I'm hearing a lot of talk between the safeties, and, and that's one thing that Coach Kane talked about, was that they have to communicate. They said, if you're all wrong, you're all right, meaning that they have to be on the same page and they can get through the down. And they're certainly doing that, and the other part of that, too, is Boston College, for the first time, really trying to get going with tempo. Third straight run, and it's not going anywhere. Sutton Smith star of this opening half for NIU. Well, you don't have to worry about him holding up at the point of attack right now because what is he doing? He is beating the offensive tackle, Marcel Lazard, off of the football, and he is getting leverage. So size may not come with him. He may be 40, 50, 60 pounds lighter, but he's playing with leverage, and he is using his athleticism as a weapon tonight. Well, that's the other part about going tempo. Remember, Boston College last year became a tempo offense against Maryland in the quick lane bowl. And they used that to get 29 points in the first half. But they told us this week, if we don't get first downs, it's not going to work. And it's not working tonight. Noel, and another short kick. Beebe catches it at the 45, so the Huskies will take over inside Boston College territory. How about this week's Phillips 66 Athlete of the Week? And it's Max Sharpen, graduate, master's degrees working out in kinesiology, starting left tackle last year, all Mac on the right side, and David, this guy moving to the left side for this season here at NIU. And he is also going for his master's right now in kinesiology, so just goes to show you he is more than just a football player, and his football IQ is off of the charts. You play four positions on the offensive line. How hard is right side to left side? Well, if you're staying at tackle, you know, it's just an adjustment with your feet and what hand you have down. The biggest adjustment is going from inside, from center to guard, outside the tackle. Graham gets it to the outside. It's Brown. Strahan out there to bring him down at the 13-yard line. Correction, that's Spencer Tears making his first career catch. And again, Sharp, he started all 12 games at right tackle last year. Eight starts white right tackle in 2015, six in white right guard. So he has been all over the offensive line. Lake in motion. Graham to Huff. Will Harris meets him right at the line of scrimmage. Ty Schwab cleaned it up. Will Harris, we have called his name a lot. And they've had a lot of very good safeties at Boston College. Justin Simmons, John Johnson, third round picks the last couple of years. And they think Will Harris is that next guy. They really do, and it's great to have him back. But what also did they say? This is the best, best back end that they've always had, that they've had since they've been there. So now they're more adept, they're more versatile, and they can play more complex schemes. So can NIU take advantage of excellent field position? It's third and six. Pressure comes, Graham hit, gets it away, and it's way over the head of his intended receiver. First time, real pressure from this Boston College defensive line, and it's a three and out for NIU. You see that they're trying to get the protection to help to the other side, but what do they do? They leave Tanner Carafa wide open, unblocked, and he's able to create that pressure so that Ryan Graham can't throw that ball like he wants to on a rope outside to get the key completion. Just one of six on third down for the Huskies. So Matt Ferentz on to punt it again. His last punt pimp, Boston College, inside its five-yard line. High boot again. He tries the other side. NIU bounce, and they can't save it. They were down there, but just could not get the hands on it. Trayshawn Foster. So it'll come out to the 20. But NIU has a Power 5 conference team at home, and they got the lead. Away. Away is the smell of victory. And 
the smell of burgers. Away is always having home field advantage. Even when you're miles away from home. Find your away. For a dealer and the RV that's right for you, visit GoRVing.com. What makes the new DiGiorno Crispy Pan Pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. Pan, pan, You pan, bake pan, it fresh pan. in its own pan, giving our new DiGiorno Pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Ever wonder what's in a beer? If it's a Bud Light, it's four essential ingredients. Barley, rice, water, and hops. Here's to the beer you can always count on. Brewed to be America's favorite light lager. Shop like a pro at Bass Pro Shops for huge savings. Like savings of 33% on redhead men's and ladies Everest hikers. Save $50 on this lose term at Baitcast Reel. Plus, free kids activities this weekend at Bass Pro Shops. Golden Corral's Prime Rib and Shrimp Spectacular is here. Slow roasted prime rib. Shrimp skewers hot off the grill. Garlic herb butter sirloin and butterfly shrimp. Dinner's just $13.99. So hurry in for endless prime rib and shrimp. Golden Corral, your choice rules. It's time for the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. The year's best deals on the world's best-selling ATVs and side-by-sides. Now is the time to buy with rebates up to $4,000. Get started at Polaris.com. Back here in DeKalb and coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report, Brent Stover, Houston Nut, Christian Fourier standing by in our New York studios. Look at you caught up on Washington and Rutgers, Utah State and Wisconsin, which was tied at the half. Also preview tomorrow's big time slate. It's all coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Now the NIU golf team in effect. They are trying to black out BC as the slogan here tonight. But Anthony Brown has certainly struggled. David Deal and Eric Coleman on this offense. Six possessions, four punts and a pick. Yeah, I mean, when you have a young quarterback, you need to get that run game going, make some easy throws like they just did on the perimeter. And it's dropped, though, by Jeff Smith. And David is an offensive lineman, and they have 87 career starts on this offensive line. How do you settle him down? You get your inside zone game running because who do they have? They do have on the defensive side Jack Heflin and Ben Leroy interiorly, but they're playing young backups at defensive tackle because they are thin at that position. And they get Smith to the outside and he picks up 12. Pugh drags him out of bounds. But again, this is an offensive line. They have eight starters back on this offense. And then one as well that's missing some time in Elijah Johnson who started 10 years, but that's the strength of this team. It is the strength of this team, but you need to get first downs in order to do that because what are they now? They're pressing a little bit because they are in a new scheme and it's not working. Brown gets to the outside. Nice throw. They're working Jeff Smith. And he picks up another first down for Boston College. Ten yards on the pickup for Jeff Smith. Handoff Dillon up the middle, gets out to the 46 yard line, pick up of a couple. And that was the question, too, for NIU. You talked about their interior defensive linemen, Ben Leroy, Jack Heflin. They wondered how those guys would hold up against the center of this Boston College offense. Because they know that they have to play physical. Size-wise, they don't really match up strength-wise. So they've got to get in the backfield. They've got to penetrate. They've got to get the offensive linemen on different levels. Brown on play action. Throws out to the flat. Great catch. Hilleman. Pugh brought him down. His second catch of the ball game. And he'll bring up third down and about three. This is a crucial play for Boston College. They need to convert here. They need to get confidence in this drive because if they do not, then they're wondering, is our game plan right? Is this up tempo right? You get your players guessing a little bit and not reacting, they start thinking. Brown can take off. Has the first down. Anthony Brown putting together his best drive of his first career start. 
doesn't see anything downfield. Nice job by the offensive line getting the protection that he needs. Also, you look at that left tackle. Aaron Montero got away with the holding call on Sutton Smith. So substitutions, and remember, when you substitute on offense, the officials hold it, give the defense a chance to substitute as well. Brown on first down. Hillman met in the backfield, and guess who? It's Sutton Smith again. Once again, you talk about the size of only being 230. It does not matter. Sorry, here we go. You see him here? Just penetrate. Sheds the block by the tight end. Gets into the backfield. The tight end and tackle combination needs to work. Brown hits his receiver, Walker, but hit immediately. Jawan Johnson, the linebacker in coverage, and it'll bring up third and eight for Boston College. And they were telling us all week about how good Sutton Smith would be on this defense. Five tackles tonight, David, four of them behind the line of scrimmage. And now it is again where this defensive line needs to create some havoc and force a throw out of Anthony Brown. Deep pocket, big time throw, huge catch! It's Kobe White, the guy they said they could go up and get it, and he gets him down to the 22-yard line. Talked about Kobe White being that physical receiver, gets the one-on-one, -on -one, gets over the top, Look at that ball is up in the air, gets it at the highest point, and gets that big play to gain momentum for Boston College offensively. And that is Shawan Lurie down on the field for NIU. That is their best cornerback two years ago, a third team All American with nine interceptions, which led the nation. He battled injuries all of last season. They said finally healthy, but he came down on that left leg on that pass and so that's what they're working on you said it they talked about him on the outside his ability to play press man being able to jump routes and he is the only one they said that can play man to man with his eyes on the quarterback and not in the receiver and he wins those battles so this is a very big loss defensively so the training staff will lead Lurie out and he is back down to the ground let's take another look at what happened here to Lurie There it is. Ankle gets stuck in the ground. His cleat gets stuck in the ground, and you see his body go over it, and you see that left ankle tweak. And that's got to be a feeling of deja vu as well for Coach Carey because he said, look, what can you do about injuries? Nothing sometimes. And they tried controlling it in practice. They would have hitting days, but they started to back down because of the depth that they have on this football team. They don't have it. They need their players Boston to play and step up to the challenge because they can't play next man up. And so we'll see if Boston College can take advantage on the end around. Gets it down to the 15-yard line. And so Boston College gets into the red zone tonight for the first time. And the red zone is brought to you by Verizon. 39 trips there last year. Just 56% touchdown percentage, 95th in the country. Can they punch it in? Not with Hilleman there. Johnson gets him behind the line of scrimmage, and it'll bring up third down. And we talked about these linebackers. They're big, they can run, but their biggest thing is they can't stay on blocks. They gotta get off, they gotta get to the backfield because their quickness is what's gonna win these battles. Now they put it on the shoulders of Brown here on this drive. He's converted with his legs. He is converted through the air. Can he keep the drive going? Let's see if Sutton Smith can get another pressure. He's working on Aaron Montero, the left tackle. Brown loads and fires high over the receiver. He had a receiver wide open over the middle. He chose a different option, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that's where the young, unexperienced quarterback starts doing things, he starts forcing it. You see the open receiver right here. That is the ball where you want to go with it. He goes to where there is double coverage with the safety deep, and he have the corner coming over. So they'll settle for a 35-yard field goal opportunity for Lichtenberger, who hit earlier from 42, and now good again. So they get it into the red zone, but much like last year, they struggled to punch it in. 
And Steve Adazio's team has to settle for three. And this is a win for Northern Illinois defensively, holding up, settling for a field goal. But they just keep getting the momentum for their team. And now what are you going to see? You are going to see an offense come out and start taking shots downfield because this is their time to get the Boston College defense on their heels. About now 205 to go here. So, David, if you're NIU, you had a quarterback battle all throughout camp, but you have a fourth-year junior in Ryan Graham making his ninth career start. From what you've seen from this offense, what is the strategy with 205 to go in the half and a lead? You know what they're going to do is they're going to play their game plan. They feel like they've got nothing to lose. They feel like they have confidence on the outside with their slot players, with their wide receivers. So I have no doubt that they're going to try to push the tempo here and, and get a touchdown before half because for them, if they're winning at halftime, all of the pressure is on Boston College to win this game. What are they going to do as a team? They're going to come out relaxed in the second half and play free football, and that's when you play your best. Not that these numbers matter moving forward, but sometimes we like to look at historical numbers. In the four years under Steve Adazio, BC is 1-23 in when trailing at the half. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, there's a chance. Huff and Blake back deep to receive. It's Blake from the five. Bringing it out for the Huskies. He's going lateral, and he's not going to get back to the 20. Shoved out of bounds at the 14-yard line. But how about what you've seen from Ryan Graham here in this opening half? Really nice job by Mike Uremovich, the offensive coordinator, scrambling in, using the zone read, holding, having him roll out of the pocket, throw on the move. You see, that was the nice one where he held it in there for Jordan Huff created that big play that they were able to take that perimeter like they wanted to. And what else are they doing? They are now going to start being able to take those shots downfield. And there is the big touchdown that they had to DJ Brown, who they know is their Swiss Army knife. He knows every position at wide receiver, and he can run every route. Just 5 of 11 tonight, but he hasn't had a turnover. He's got those 77 yards rushing on the heels of that 60 yard. And all three timeouts for both teams here with 1.59 to go. Handoff on the inside. Jones dragged down after a pickup of about three. And a timeout taken by Boston College. So clearly, Steven Nazio's thinking, hey, let's not worry about that. Let's get the ball back. Eric, what did you see with Shawan Lurie? Shawan Lurie, is, it's a case of cramps in his calves. He's down here with the Gatorade and the salt packs, trying to stretch out his calves, and that's very typical for the opening game. These guys aren't in game shape, and, and hopefully he'll get over and get an IV at halftime. Eric, you surprised though about cramps? I mean, it's 55 degrees. <laughs> I'm very surprised, but you know, as a defensive back, you don't have much body fat, so the calves are usually the, the first thing to cramp. On the, on the skill players. That, that from a man, by the way, who's got biceps the size of my rental car. <laughs> but once again, what does it come down to? Minimizing the practice that you have offensively, defensively, and as a team, you're not able to practice as much now in training camp. You're starting to see the effects of it today in conditioning for these players. What did Eric tell us earlier tonight? At least for the defense, Northern Illinois has not tackled in two weeks. Has not been a problem tonight. But in terms of the conditioning factor. So out of the timeout, it's second and six. And again, BC gets a tackle right up the middle. Noah Merritt and a timeout taken again by Boston College. So now, David, with 145, you've only managed to take 14 seconds off the clock. What is your third down strategy? That's the biggest question now. We know that Mike Uremovich is not going to put this quarterback in a terrible position. He sees that they're backed up. They have a lot of time left on the clock. He may get the bluebirds, but I wouldn't be surprised if you get that draw, if you get that screen, because at this point, being up 10 to 6 right before half, that is not a loss for you offensively. You can use your kicker, you can use your punter, and let hope that the defense stops. So you wouldn't be worried at what happened on the last drive for Boston College in terms of giving them momentum for the second half? I mean, obviously, you're going to try to take a shot a little bit here to try to convert, but I don't think that you're going to try to do something outside of who you are offensively because of where you're at right now field position-wise. Mike Uremovich in his second season as the offensive coordinator here at NIU. is on Dave Doran's staff at NC State. Coached here at Northern Illinois before taking that job in Raleigh. So it's third and five, and the Huskies are one and six tonight on third down. And it's a simple play up the middle, right into the arms of Merritt, as well as Cameron Moore, the corner. And so that'll bring down fourth down. And like you said, the Boo Birds here at Husky Stadium 
And BC takes its final time out of the first half. You know, going along with that, obviously three inside runs right here before half. But one thing that you could have done is you could have rolled the pocket. You could have done a little bit of play action so that if the quarterback doesn't see anything, he could throw the ball out of bounds and stop the clock and give yourself a little bit more time considering the fact that Boston College has used all of their timeouts. Just took off 18 seconds, though, on that drive. But again, Anthony Brown, first six drives, they had four punts. He had thrown an interception. But he put together a really good drive on the last timeout, and he's going to get the ball with 141 to go here in the second quarter. And again, this is what we've seen tonight from the redshirt freshman in his first career start. There's the interception when he was eyeing down Tommy Sweeney. Here's a ball to the outside that was thrown a little high, but Hilleman makes a great catch. And here's that up high, gets it up at the highest point of attack for Kobe White. So he's going to get a chance, 10 of 17 tonight, 69 yards. Dual threat quarterback who they say is a thrower that can run. They bring the pressure, Ferentz gets it off. And it goes out of bounds, and we'll see where the officials spot this. All the way up across midfield. So that's where Boston College will start. And again, we mentioned this 1 and 23, which has no bearing on tonight, right? I mean, this is a one possession game. We'll see what happens here in the last 134. But they've won seven games in three of his four years at Boston College, mixed in with a three and nine season two years ago. But also, there is a lot more pressure on him as a head coach and Boston College as a team because of being on the road in an unfamiliar place, knowing what you have going on for the rest of the season schedule. -wise. And they start at midfield, and it's a short throw. No timeouts left for Boston College inside of 90 seconds to go in this opening half. On second and six, clock running. Brown loads and fires, incomplete. He threw it behind Sweeney, and Michael Allen was in coverage. And now with 113, here comes third down. You know that he wants to get the ball to Tommy Sweeney. You see the inside breaking route right by the seam. That ball, he does do the right thing by trying to get it to the outside. Smart on his play. He sees that the safety is breaking in by Mikel Allen. Tries to get it to the outside. At least it wasn't a turnover. Pressure comes on third down. He fires and hits. It's a strike. Kobe White, his fourth catch of the opening half. Redshirt freshman to redshirt freshman to move the sticks. Well, who came over there? Albert Smalls, because Shawan Lurie is out of the game right now, so they right away attacked him and got after it. Clock stops on the first down. We're approaching a minute to go in this opening half. Quick pass. It's White again down to the 26, but he stayed in bounds, so the clock will continue to move. How fast are you worried here? 26 yard line, 50 seconds. Well, I'm worried here that you have your receivers pulling up their socks and not getting back to the line of scrimmage. Get set, get ready to go. On second down, Brown, a strike inside the 10. Michael Walker gets it down to the six. Pickup of 20 from Brown, and he's finding his rhythm with 37 seconds to go. But they are running out of time. They need to get up and get this play off. Brown on the rollout. First down to the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College. Michael Walker, the junior, makes the grab. And BC has its first lead of the night with 30 seconds to go before halftime. Great play design by Scott Loeffler, the offensive coordinator. To see they've got a trips look outside. They have the under. The over and the cross, you see Michael Walker get completely open. Safety's not communicating, clear breakdown. Touchdown, Boston College right before the half. Lichtenberger adds the extra point, so we were wondering how would this redshirt freshman bounce back, and you and Eric were talking about the poise and control after he started five of 10, they couldn't move the ball, but back-to-back -back drives, and this is the offense that Steve Adazio told us about. They thought they had speed. He thought they had explosiveness, and they showed it on back-to-back -back drives. Well, the good thing is, is that they're giving him short and intermediate routes. They're letting him get the ball out quick, not letting him overthink, and he's starting to get rhythm. And in that last drive and in the second quarter, 11 for 14 and 108 yards. So Michael Walker with his fifth career touchdown, their leading returning receiver from a year ago, but. 
This was the play that set up that touchdown pass. You see him trying to pass it off, but you know on the back end, when you're breaking Will Harris, you've got to get downhill, you've got to get to the receiver, and you've got to make sure that when your back end is not communicating, that somebody gets it out to everybody. Because you see that the pass off was very, very early. And Will, you have got to come up and make that play. So Schultz and Geisteville boots it away. And it's through the end zone. So now with 30 seconds to go, Dave, and three timeouts. NIU with 30 seconds here, down by three. They went three straight runs on their last possession, let Boston College have the ball back. What are you doing with 30 seconds to go? I think they were going to take the knee and end the, end, the, end the second quarter. If we saw in the last one that they ran three inside zones and then punted it, they're going to kneel and, and wait for the second half. Boston College won the opening toss, elected to receive. So NIU will get the ball to start the second half, and they're going to do exactly what you just said. Graham takes a knee, and Boston College will go into the locker room here in DeKalb with a 13-10 lead. Well, we were worried about that 1-23 losing at halftime. Well, you can throw that statistic out. Now, they've only lost three times when they've had the lead at the half in the four years. So Coach Rod Carey's team has to regroup, had some big plays. They have to have more consistent plays. Down by three, and that's the end of the first half. After the break, send you back to Brett Stover and the gang with the Verizon Halftime Report. Get you caught up on everything else going on around the nation. Here in DeKalb, you are watching college football on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. It is hard work being this good. I must be nothing but a chump to you. Bald head. Because it's hard work making something this pitch day look like a chump. Yo, can I get two out of three? Get up, get up, get up, get up. Kubota, pioneers of the subcompact tractor, have upped the game again with the all-new Kubota BX80 series. It's powerful, rugged, and easy to operate, ready to take on your toughest work. Plus, you can get a complete set of Land Pride implements. The all-new Kubota BX80. It has the performance, versatility, and comfort you're looking for. See it at your local Kubota dealer today. It's time for the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. The year's best deals on the world's best-selling ATVs and side-by-sides. Now is the time to buy with rebates up to $4,000. Get started at Polaris.com. DirecTV customers expect great entertainment along with the best value. So why would we throw our money away with a wireless plan from one of them? Because now, AT&T has an exclusive deal just for us when we switch. Like saving $25 a month on our DirecTV for life. Plus, we'll get HBO included. Oh, and overage charges? We want those gone. So. Let's stop paying more to get less. Direct TV customers, switch or upgrade to AT&T Unlimited Plus and get this exclusive deal. I love shopping for my pets at Chewy.com. <laughs> they have everything I could possibly need for my pets at amazing prices. I love these guys, and I want to feed them the best. When I wanted to change Bailey's diet, I was surprised by the price of his new food. Then I found Chewy.com. With Chewy, I save on food, treats, and litter. Even shipping is free. There's no reason for me to shop anywhere else. Save 20% on your favorite brands and get fast, free shipping. Shop online at Chewy.com. Attention, if you had surgery to repair a hernia, listen closely. Ethicon has recalled its PhysioMesh Flexible Composite Mesh. This product may cause pain, swelling, bowel obstructions, infections, mesh failure, and hernia recurrence. If you had hernia repair surgery in 2006 or later and suffered complications that required additional surgery, you may be entitled to compensation. Call Sokolov Law, 1-800-474-9422 for a free legal consultation. 1-800-474-9422. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. Watching the Verizon Halftime Report on CBS Sports Network. 
Welcome in. We are at the half between Boston College, Northern Illinois. Brent Stover, Houston Nut, Christian Fourier as well. Christian has got so many dang friends that they're like, hey, I see you it's on TV right game. now. It's, Boston. it's a Boston game, right? We're finally no, talking college absolutely. sports in Boston. And you're a Boston guy. You just had the New England uh, Patriots preseason last night. You're doing yep. college tonight. we got a good one here in the opening two quarters. Uh, really good one. Northern Illinois doing a good job. Ryan Graham, good job executing quarterback play. But the last series, I didn't like Northern Illinois. Boy, they give the ball back to Boston College. Now Boston College has the momentum going into halftime. Good game. All right, 13-10. And again, Graham has been good on the ground, but at the end, it was BC with that late touchdown. Let's get to some highlights, starting with number eight Washington taking on Rutgers, being billed as the war before the shore in Piscataway. And Rutgers, guys, came to play in the first half Although you wouldn't know it with Dante Pettis right here, Coach. Look at Dante Pettis. Great job right here with vision, making people miss, miss tackles. Good job of blocking without a penalty. Blocked the last man, the kicker. Touchdown. So at the half, Huskies again on the road, going across the country up three. Then LeVon Coleman from Jake Browning. Yeah, great job right there. Linebacker can't get over and cover the swing route. And then Browning with a great throw right there. Receiver using the sideline, getting both feet in bounds. Gaskin still got a bunch of good receivers there in Washington. And they're Pulling away 30 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Wisconsin against a team, Utah State guys, that won just three games last year. Luan Hunt, 12 yard touchdown. They don't know what to think in Madison. They're down 10 zip, and Patrick Shaw, short touchdown run. Badgers only down 10 7. It was 10 all at half, and then Alex Hornigro to Troy Fumagalli, coach. Good job right here. Well designed football play, good throw. And then Alex Hornibrook, Christian, play action, 28-yard touchdown strike here. Yeah, this is right in his wheelhouse right here. The play action pass getting to the tight end. Nice move, man. That just runs right by four guys. Again, Badgers trailed uh, most of the first half. They're up by two touchdowns in the second half. Colorado State, the fighting 48s. Colorado, <laughs> Philip Lindsay, 45-yard touchdown run, 7 out of the bus. And then Steven Montez has been very good. Yeah, this is a nice move right here. Watch him avoid the rush. He's going to buy himself a lot. Look at him. Yeah, get over there. Go deeper, go deeper. Throws a Across the field, that's a 31-yard strike right there. That's a nice pass, Steven Montez. Nice job. 17-3, they lead in the fourth. Fordham taking on Army. What do you see defensively from Fordham, Coach? Ooh, not much right here because Ahmad Bradshaw running the option to perfection. Oh, missed tackle right here. Good job right here, getting the end zone. Had a good night. That was early tonight on CBS Sports Network. He had a buck 77 on the ground in Bradshaw. They win 64-6. Navy and uh, Florida Atlantic, that is Lane Kiffin coaching his first game for FAU, and he's up against the triple option coach. Zach A.B., guys, runs it with perfection. You've got to tackle the quarterback. You've got to tackle the fullback. But most of all tonight, you better tackle Zach Aby. This guy has how many yards? 200 plus? Yeah, 207 after three quarters. They got a weather delay after three quarters. Navy has it in hand, 35-13. When we come back, uh, we'll talk about Saturday's top games, including a clash of college football's elite. Bama and Florida State. We're going to break it down when we return. The game is bigger than quick hands, breakaways, or finger rolls. It's bigger than layouts, sellouts, and shooting the lights out. It's bigger than cannons, bells, and wagon wheels in any stadium, field, or school. Because when you play the game with the integrity of the sport, with character, honor, and heart, the game is bigger than just a game. It's a foundation of life. It's time for the biggest sale of the year with the new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. It senses your every move and automatically adjusts on both sides to keep you effortlessly comfortable. And snoring? Does your bed do that? The new 360 Smart Bed is part of our biggest sale of the year where all beds are on sale. And right now, save 50% on the Labor Day Limited Edition Bed plus 36-month financing. Ends Monday. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith. 
or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, it's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we took a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are, no matter what your name is. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband for better or worse? Wait, does that include his less than perfect driving record? <gasps> At the General, you can get affordable auto insurance with low payments for multiple vehicles, even if one of the drivers has a problem on their driving record. Get your anonymous online quote and ride with the General. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. This is our summer vacation. This is our day at the beach. This is how we cool off. This is the new 2018 Acura TLX. Hurry to the Acura Summer Performance Event for some of the most exciting offers of the year. Lease the 2018 Acura TLX for $329 a month for well-qualified customers. Don't miss this event going on now. Welcome back to the Verizon Halftime Report. Northern Illinois had this first half touchdown. Yeah, quarterback Ryan Graham's going to find DJ Brown for the 15-yard touchdown. BC got a late touchdown, though, and they lead 13-10. Syracuse, Eric Dungy, quarterback, five total touchdowns. They beat Central Connecticut State. They boat raced them 50-7 to in the final. And another max score to show you, Eastern Michigan, not a problem. Brogan Roback, solid numbers, 267 through the air. The Eagles beat Charlotte with a final of 24-7. A lot of big games on Saturday, none bigger than number one Alabama and number three Florida State. Going to be an absolute blast. And obviously, there are about a million different ways. And I feel like we've covered them all over the last couple of weeks to break this game down. But in this segment, we go defense here. Let's start with Alabama. Well, defense is going to be a huge part for Alabama. Obviously, they lost seven guys to the NFL. So the defensive coordinator, Jeremy Pruitt, you're just sitting there going, okay, where am I going to find all my talent? Well, it's Alabama. You don't recruit, you draft, and they always have the number one pick in the college draft. You know, they lose a bunch of guys, but they still got Mika Fitzpatrick, Rashawn Evans, Deshaun Hand. They still have a lot of guys that can get after the quarterback. And DeAndre Francois sacked 34 times last year. And that's not even including all the times he was flushed from the pocket or hit late so that's what to me is where the battle really is going to start that offense versus defensive line let's go to florida state's defense remember the north carolina and louisville game louisville they gave up 63 points but guess what guys they got better as the year went on and all those guys are back if you look at these names josh josh sweat demarcus christmas jacob Pugh, derwin james back from the injury tavarius mcfadden all these guys are athletic, very athletic. They're going to look a lot like Alabama Christian. So this is what makes this game such a good ball game. Both these teams have recruited very well. Outstanding. Going to be an absolute blast. And again, it's in primetime week one again Saturday night. Now, the biggest news of the week had nothing to do with football, as we know. Hurricane Harvey slammed into Houston, Texas, and the surrounding area is causing unprecedented flooding damage. If you want to help people affected by Hurricane Harvey, text Harvey to 90999 and donate $10 to American Red Cross Hurricane Harvey Relief. And again, our thoughts and prayers continue to be with the folks down in that area and all the people who so graciously helped out. That's the Husky. He needs a comeback in the second. He looks like he can go a little bit. 1310 is teamed down. More of the Verizon Halftime Report when we come back. It's 6 a.m. 40 million Americans are waking up to a Gillette shave. And at our factory in Boston, 1,200 workers are starting their day building on over 100 years of heritage, craftsmanship, and innovation. Today, we're bringing you America's number one shave at lower prices every day, putting money back in the pockets of millions of Americans. As one of those workers, I'm proud to bring you Gillette quality for less because nobody can beat the men and women of Gillette. Gillette, the best a man can get. It's true. 
Fans are craving Dr. Pepper more than ever. So I've assembled a team. They're not exactly five stars, but they've got spirit. We'll be a tailgate. The cheap seats, love seats. If you're craving Dr. Pepper, we'll be there. We'll be everywhere. That's me, America. And yes, we are taking walk-ons. I'm in. Doug Flutie? Flutie's in! Let's go, Dr. Pepper Hip. Here's a boys medium. That'll work. Hey, hon. We gotta go. Come on. plan for that. When you see beautiful design, do beautiful work. You see what Delta can do. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on specially equipped Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles. We are professional grade GMC. Doubleheader coming your way tomorrow here on CBS Sports Network, Kentucky and Southern Miss, 4 Eastern, 8 Eastern. Vandy scores off against Middle Tennessee. Coverage starts at 3 Eastern with uh, us three, gentlemen, yes, yes. on Inside College Good tonight. I awoke from a late afternoon nap <laughs> today to hear Christian on the, the pregame of our Army game saying that, that, that this guy, Harold Landry, was better than Miles Garrett. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, he, he only has one tackle yet. And I don't know what they're doing right now because uh, even the last touchdown drive where they were northern, northern Illinois threw for a touchdown, he wasn't even on the field. So he's got to get back out there and try and get something going and just, just be disruptive as possible. I like Ryan Graham, the way he's playing. If he'll get back to doing what he did the first three quarters. Not if Harold Landry gets first after him. Quarters. That's the key. Harold Landry's got to get after him. Ooh. There, you got Landry your matchup. Going. After the game will come your way with inside college football. Enjoy the second half. It's next. This has been the Verizon Halftime Report. Watch live, local, and primetime games with NFL Mobile. Only on Verizon. It is hard work being this good. I must be nothing but a chump to you. Bald head. Because it's hard work making something this good today look like a chump. Yo, can I get two out of three? Get up, get up, get up, and get there. A bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, though you make my heart a wreck, make oh, my man. heart a wreck, and you make my life a mess, make my life a mess, yes, a mess of happiness. While other insurance companies just see a house, we see the home you've worked really hard for. So why not give it the protection it deserves? It's time for the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. The year's best deals on the world's best-selling ATVs and side-by-sides. Now is the time to buy with rebates up to $4,000. Get started at Polaris.com. The famously flippable, often imitated, never duplicated Dairy Queen Blizzard. There's absolutely nothing like it, unless there's two. Right now, buy your favorite Blizzard and get another for just 99 cents. That's buy one, get one for 99 cents. Long live the courageous, the tenacious, the ones who push forward and give back. Long live the greater good, the helping hand, and long live the truck built to outlast them all. Ram, America's longest lasting pickups. Now with $1,000 Labor Day bonus cash, get an average 11968 in total values on Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. This is it. You put your head down, did what it took, and now you're looking to take that next step. But get ready, this is Northern Illinois University. It's more than hitting the books. It's taking what you find on the pages and putting it into practice, experimenting with it, bringing it to life. Beginning your first year, 
you'll be interacting with a world-class faculty, getting involved in research and artistry projects from the get-go. Welcome to where big university lifestyle meets small school individual attention. This is NIU, your future, our focus. The game is bigger than quick hands, breakaways, or finger rolls. It's bigger than layouts, sellouts, and shooting the lights out. It's bigger than cannons, bells, and wagon wheels, in any stadium, field, or school. Because when you play the game with the integrity of the sport, with character, honor, and heart, the game is bigger than just a game. It's a foundation of life. Boston College, strong finish to the first half. Ten points in the last couple of minutes. And it's a 13-10 lead for the Eagles here in DeKalb. Jason Horwitz, David Deal, Eric Coleman down on the field. Happy to welcome you back to Husky Stadium. They weren't really able to do much of anything offensively their first six drives. All of a sudden, 10 points and they got the lead. Well, what we see as an offense for Boston College, they settled in. You saw early the tempo was almost too fast. They started having penalties, alignment errors, drop balls. But they've settled down. They've eased into it. And what was the biggest thing they said? We need to control the time of possession. They had 18 minutes in the first half. And now their defense will be fresh going up against an up-tempo yeah. NIU offense that still needs to take those shots downfield. Let's take a look at those first-half stats presented by Humana. And 212 yards, but 113 of those came on the last two drives. As for NIU, 168 in the opening half and really not able to do a whole lot offensively except for a couple of big plays. And the biggest thing in the second quarter was they were 0 for 3 on third down. If you can't convert, you're just giving Boston College's offense more momentum, and now they can open up the playbook. Steve Adazio's team, 49 plays in that first half. Remember, we talked about the quick lane bowl and how they went up-tempo against Maryland, had it in the first half. They had more in this first half than they did last year in the bowl game. As for Rod Carey, what are the adjustments his team has to make offensively, David? Well, offensively, they've got to make sure that they block continually on the perimeter. Their wide receivers can't have miscommunication. And what I think they really need to do is they need to really start spreading the ball around and start creating mismatches. So NIU coming out to start the second half. And Christian Blake out around the 22-yard line. Down to Eric Coleman. Well, I talked to Rod Carey going into halftime. He was impressed with his defense, the way they, they were getting penetration, in particular Sutton Smith. He was impressed with him. They just have to keep him fresh. Offensively, he's worried about their consistency. They want to get more drives. They want to get the passing game going. But other than that, they've been on a great, uh, on a great streak. Now, I talked to Steve Adazio. He's impressed with the way his offense is playing. They started out slow with the drop touchdown pass, but started to gain momentum, and he feels like they're on the verge of exploding offensively. And it certainly looked that way to end the first half with 10 unanswered points in three minutes. First play of the second half is an inside handoff. Ray Smith, big 305-pound junior for Boston College making the tackle. And David, something we did not get into much in the first half for NIU, they don't have Kenny Galladay that they had a year ago, third round draft pick of the Lions, over 80 catches last year. Who's going to start for the Lions this year, and you have a prolific receiver like that, you're gonna get them the football, but now you know with these wide receivers, you've gotta get them their touches to spread it. Graham pitches it out to Huff on the outside, gets out to the 26 yard line. Harold Landry not making his presence known in the first half, but that stopped there. And again, he was behind basically Corey Davis from Western Michigan on many categories. But talking to the coaching staff, they said, you know, you have him, it draws attention, but it makes the other receivers better on your team, and that's what they need this year. You talk about the Detroit Lions when they lost Kelvin Johnson. The same thing was said for Matthew Stafford, and they came out, and Jim Bob Cooper had a great offensive game plan to spread it out, because what are you not doing? You're not forcing it to one guy. So a big third down on this opening drive for NIU, just one of seven in the first half. Graham takes off, finds a man, it's dropped. He threw it behind Jawan Wesley, who had a ton of space, and a quick three and out for NIU. And he had the protection. He gets it set up, you see the running back get out to the outside, and Tommy Meester setting up the block on the blitz. He's able to just chip and get enough of Harold Landry, but you've got to help your quarterback out. You have got to catch that football because not only is your team and your offense depending on it, you've got to give your quarterback confidence to start the second half. Freshman punter Matt Ferentz averaged 39 and a half yards per boot in the opening half. And another good one here. See where they spot it. 
And the official still marking it off, but out to the 35-yard line. So a 40-yard punt for Ference. But Anthony Brown started a little bit shaky. Redshirt freshman making his first career start. This up-tempo offense beat out Darius Wade to get the job. But after NIU took the lead, Anthony Brown really came into his own. Again, Ryan Graham throwing the touchdown. But Brown settled down here and got Boston College the lead before halftime. He settled down. He started making accurate throws. They started rolling the pocket, and you could see him ease into it this game. Hilleman, easily his best run of this ball game. John Hilleman, a non-factor in the first half. Their leading returning rusher from last year. Picked up six yards on first down. And that's what you're looking for now in the second half. You know that you're controlling the time of possession. Start wearing down this front seven that isn't used to playing this type of game because they're not experienced. Thad Smith trying to get to the outside. Gets it across the 45. Pushed out of bounds at the 48. Jalen Embry escorted him to the sideline, but a first down. And we've seen that fly sweep, that jet sweep that you guys have talked about used very well for Boston College. And it's funny because that's what Northern Illinois said that they needed to do offensively, but you see the tables have turned. You see a lot of bigs, two tight ends. You see a lot of standing in motion, and they're letting their offensive line block up front. Smith in motion. Brown looking for the deep ball. That's Jeff Smith out there, and he overthrows him. His one receiver was open, but Anthony Brown just missed him. When he was releasing there, he was actually held a little bit right there. You see a little tug, a little pull, but it really wasn't enough. But you know Anthony Brown, that's a throw that you have to make. You know that Jeff Smith got behind the safety. Big play could have been had. Hillman on second down, great cutback. Gets down to the 42-yard line, just shy of the first down. But it'll bring up third and short for BC. And remember, in the secondary for NIU, Shawan Lurie, their best cover corner, went out with an injury. He's not on the field for NIU here on this third down. Hillman again through the middle of that defense, and he picks up the first down, and they'll move the sticks. And there's Lurie trying to work out 12 career interceptions. Play action again from Brown. Looking for the deep shot and overthrow Sweeney. Trey Quan Smith, the backup safety, was in coverage. It'll bring up second down. I know that you want to be aggressive, but you're running the football very well. Your bigs are controlling the line of scrimmage. They're getting double teams. They're getting defensive tackles and defensive ends on one leg. You had a great run by Hilleman. Stick with it. You can control the tempo in the game. And more importantly, that's when you win this game in the fourth quarter. That's Ben Glines this time on the end around. Not much there. Small stayed home. Bobby Jones as well. And that'll bring up third down and eight here for Boston College. You wonder if you're in four down territory just outside field goal range. I like what they did right now. Look at they're rolling out the 13 package. They just brought out three tight ends. They're big, they're physical, they can block, but they also can catch. Brown out of the gun. They throw the screen, and Hillman brought down. Jones read it the whole way. Now that'll bring a fourth down for Boston College back at the 40. That right there are just football instincts and studying film. You see Bobby Jones is able to see the offensive lineman get out. He's able to split both of them. Comes up with a key stop here to start the second half. So they were running the ball. They were running the ball. They try to pass on first down. And Got behind the markers. Oh, left-footed boot, and it out of bounds. Not a good punt for Mike Knoll. Still marking it down at the 19, so just a 21-yard punt from Knoll. But again, not the best snap. Good job just to get it away. BC moved the ball, but couldn't score. NIU back on offense when we return. Away is where curiosity can run its course. Where little feet run wild. Where laughter runs rampant. And adventure runs in the family. Find your way. For a dealer in the RV that's right for you, 
visit GoRVing.com. Come on. Excuse me. Mind if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess. Can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting, and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yeah, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. What makes the new DiGiorno Crispy Pan Pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. Pan, pan, pan. You bake it fresh in its own pan, giving our new DiGiorno Pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. This golden opportunity features steel, titanium, and carbon fiber. Raw elements made exhilarating by Lexus. Experience uncompromising performance at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event before it ends. Choose from the IS Turbo, ES350, or NX Turbo for $299 a month for 36 months if you lease now. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Take a look at tonight's Chick-fil-A fan cam. And yes, we just crossed into September, so it should be warm. Well, they look warm, but everybody else not so much because it's about 50 degrees here. Well, they've been out here hanging out for hours. We were here at 6 o'clock in the parking lot, and everywhere was packed with everybody coming back to school. Great environment for Northern Illinois tonight. I'd like to know how they got their seats all the way on top of the facilities. <laughs> Those stairs up there. Graham on first down, bounces it to Beebe. Around the 25-yard line, it'll bring up second down for NIU. And you can't ask for anything more as a quarterback. You have a clean pocket in the horseshoe shape. You've got your running back who can also catch out of the backfield, just way underthrown. Graham on the night, 5 of 13, the redshirt junior out of Wheaton, Illinois. Remember, he beat out Daniel Santa Catarina for the starting job. They did not announce their starter until today. Graham had a big run. And a touchdown pass, but that's been about it. His arm hit on the throw. He was looking for Blake. And again, third and long coming up for an NIU offense, which has converted just one third down tonight. And what else did the offensive coordinator, Mike Urembovich, say? They're worried about the interior pocket of the offensive line because of the pressure that Ray Smith and Noah Merrick can get. They're worried about Luke Shibley. They know he's a veteran player, but he is not the biggest and heaviest guy in there at only 286. So on third and 10, no sacks yet tonight for Boston College. Graham through the hands of Beebe. Chad Beebe, the fifth year senior, was beyond the marker, but the ball beyond his arms, and it'll bring up fourth and 10, second three and out to start the second half. And that's uncharacteristic of him. They talked about being a sure-handed player, the best route runner, well, help your quarterback out. Get him out of the situation that you are in right now because as of right now, since the second quarter, you have been yet to really convert on third downs and steal the momentum and wear down a defense that's winning right now. We talked about this crowd. Been excited about this opener getting an ACC opponent, but it is silent here inside Eisen Stadium. They need a spark. Fair catch called. Walker at the 41-yard line. 39 yards. Chad Beebe, the fifth-year senior, was beyond the marker, but the ball beyond his arms, and it'll bring up fourth and ten, second three and out to start the second half. And that's uncharacteristic of him. They talked about being a sure-handed player, the best route runner. 
will help your quarterback out, get him out of this situation that you are in right now, because as of right now, since the second quarter, you have been yet to really convert on third downs and steal the momentum and wear down a defense that's winning right now. You talked about this crowd. Been excited about this opener, getting an ACC opponent, but it is silent here inside Husky Stadium. They need a spark. Air catch called. Walker at the 41-yard line. 39 yards on the punt. Anthony Brown back on offense in his first career start. I'm uh, very certain. I'm really excited. Jason Horwitz, David Deal, Eric Coleman, back with you here in DeKalb for this ACC Max showdown. Tomorrow it's an SEC Conference USA doubleheader, starting with Kentucky at Southern Miss, presented by the Home Depot at 4 Eastern. Then at 8, Vanderbilt's all-time leading rusher, Ralph Webb. The Commodores travel in-state to take on Middle Tennessee, presented by Geico. Don't forget, it all gets started with Inside College Football at 3 only on CBS Sports Network. SEC teams, those in Conference USA, the notable matchup, some of the top 25 teams, Michigan and Florida, down in Dallas, Florida State, Alabama. Number one versus number three, BYU-LSU. That game originally scheduled for Houston, moved to New Orleans. Hilleman on first down, breaks a couple of tackles, and Hilleman gets it into Northern Illinois territory. Down to the 42-yard line. Now, on that sideline, uh, there was an injury a couple plays ago. And for more on that, down to Eric Coleman. Thanks, Jason. On the sideline, defensive line coach Brett Dearson it seemed to have a broken leg there. Put an air cast on. They just carted him off. Let's just hope and pray that he's okay. He was hit on a third down play. They were bringing him down. Let's take a look at this play. This was a couple plays ago. Team right here in the background. Get rolled in. The one thing that they always have to do, you always keep your eyes to the field to make sure you get back. Hillman just one on second down. Brown back to the air. First catch of the night, Charlie Catton, and he breaks a tackle. Stepped out of bounds, though, at the 36. So, David, just from a player's standpoint, what happens when your line coach is now not on the sideline anymore? That is a very difficult spot to be in because either the tight end coach has to come over or the offensive coordinator. So they're double duty and responsibilities. And in a tough game like that, it, it's very difficult to do. And you're on a spot where your defensive line starting to give up yards. That on the jet sweep, Thad Smith. Michael Allen shoved him out of bounds, but again, that play works for a first down. And that's what they're doing. They're accumulating runs, jet sweeps, and they're averaging six yards, seven yards, nine yards, three, three, eight. This is the offensive line that you have. Let them dominate up front and wear down this defense. That's Smith in motion at the top of the screen. Play action. Brown to the air. That's a strike. Chris Garrison caught it at the 11-yard line, and Boston College knocking on the door. They're excited to have him back. He played in five games last season, but got hurt and was out for the season with a leg injury. They love his versatility. He can line up at tight end. He can go in the slot. You see him outside at the wide receiver position. They love his size. They love his ability, but more than anything, his ability to block that tight end. Smith in motion again. It's the handoff. Up the middle, Hilleman down to the six yard line. It'll bring up second and about five for Boston College as the Eagles are in the red zone and it is brought to you by Verizon. Two trips tonight, touchdown and a field goal. And again, last year, Boston College, they got it in the red zone. They would score, but only at about 55% touchdowns. Trying to improve on that tonight and they are wearing down this NIU defense here in the second half. Give to Hilleman, tries the middle. And he's down just about the four-yard line. So they'll bring up third down. And they're starting to wear down the defensive line of Northern Illinois, especially inside. They said that they're thin. They've got five defensive tackles. They're trying to rotate. You see them running in and out like hockey line shifts. So what they're doing up front is starting to work. You start seeing the offensive line and pose their will. Run the football. Last year, you averaged over 149 yards a game. That will get everything going for you. Now they can pick up a first down just inside the one. It's third and three. Play action, Brown. Hits his tight end and it's Ray Martin. Touchdown, Eagles. First career catch and it's a touchdown for the sophomore from Bell Harbor, New York. 
They get the matchup that they want. They have him one-on-one -on -one with Alex Schaub. No chance. You see him get dropped up in the coverage. You see him stop his feet, look at the quarterback. Easy touchdown. Anthony Brown is setting into a rhythm, and Boston College's offense has picked it up. Lichtenberg adds the extra point. 17 unanswered for the Eagles. Their redshirt freshman showing some poise here tonight. And Anthony Brown, two touchdown passes to give Boston College a 10-point lead on the road. America's longest-lasting pickups. Now with $1,000 Labor Day bonus cash, get an average 11968 in total values on Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. It's time for the biggest sale of the year with the new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. It senses your every move and automatically adjusts on both sides to keep you effortlessly comfortable. And snoring? Does your bed do that? The new 360 Smart Bed is part of our biggest sale of the year where all beds are on sale. And right now, save 50% on the Labor Day Limited Edition Bed plus 36 month financing ends Monday. Makes the new DiGiorno crispy pan pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. Pan, 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 you bake it fresh in its own pan, giving our new DiGiorno pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? No, sir, no, sir. Some nincompoop stole all my wool sweaters, smart TV, and gaming system. Luckily, the Geico Insurance Agency recently helped Baba with renter's insurance. Everything stolen was replaced, and the hooligan who lives down the lane was caught selling the stolen goods online. Visit Geico.com and see how easy it is to switch and save on renter's insurance. And an eight-play drive and a touchdown pass from Anthony Brown as we go down to Eric Coleman and around the offensive line for Boston College. This Boston College offensive line and tight end group are ecstatic on the sideline. They feel like they have an advantage over this Northern Illinois defensive line, and the momentum is just, just beginning to build. Well, it's a group that has experienced David Deal, someone who has offensive line experience yourself. They are wearing them down. It allows you to be aggressive, you know, in the first half when you're going up tempo and you're setting back and letting Sutton Smith and all these guys use their athletic ability when they're only 230 pounds. Go ahead, go two tights, get two tight ends in there, get three tight ends, go 12, 13, and make them stop you because as of right now in the last drive of the second half and the second half, I'm sorry, last drive of the first half and now this last drive, go ahead and play the stop. Great, gets it out to the 25-yard line, and that's where NIU's offense will take over. So now take me into the huddle for Northern Illinois because they gave up the lead at the end of the half. They took a knee. Three and out to start the second half, three and out on the second drive. What has to change? Ryan Grant, he's got to throw the football better. He had two opportunities for his wide receiver. He underthrew both of them. What's, the plan is working. The quarterback has got to execute. Five of 15 tonight for Grant. He has missed his last five passes. Pocket holds. It's a strike, Chad Beebe. Out across the 35. It's an 11-yard pickup and a first down. Cameron Moore making the stop. Once again, what are they doing up front? They're doing a nice job of getting solid protection. We saw Jordan Huff step in, protecting the B-gap on the right side for the young offensive line. Nathan Velos and Ryan Roberts. They got things going. No sacks yet tonight for this Boston College defense. Graham takes the shot. Almost intercepted. Off the deflection, D.J. Brown, but coming over in coverage, Lucas Dennis, converted corner starting tonight at safety, broke up the pass. Played in 11 games last season, and you know going from corner now to inside, you've seen the football and you've seen a quarterback from all dimensions. Great recognition, great ability to accelerate, get to the ball and go and get a PBU pass break. And they're excited about this secondary experience across the board. Really about this defense as a whole. Second down, short pass, has some space. Tears gets out to the 49-yard line. 
Spencer tears with his second catch of the night, and it's a first down. Boston College on that play wanted to get aggressive. They blitz, and you either live by the blitz or die by it, because what did they do? They opened up the middle of the field to get things going, and now you're starting to see a little rhythm out of Ryan Graham. Three receivers to the top of the screen. It's the handoff inside and tripped up Huff. And a flag flies. Ryan Roberts. Holding offense. Number 56. 10-yard penalty. First down. That is Ryan Roberts, the redshirt sophomore from Northville, Michigan. Really nice inside move by the defensive end. But what did he do? When your feet get beat, they're going to call it every single time. He goes to get a reach block. You've got to get your head to the landmark of outside shoulder. So therefore, you give your running back a running lane. So now first and 20, finally a drive. NIU had struggled their last five drives. They finally put a couple of plays together and that against the defense that was ninth in the country last year in yards allowed. Graham back to throw again. He's got time. Has a receiver. Hits his tight end. Wyman and he dropped it. Wyman got covered from Wyatt Ray, a defensive end, and he dropped it. Once again, you got to help your quarterback out. Shane Wyman has been the jack of all trades. He's been hitting, he's been chipping, he's been helping, but he is the security blanket for Ryan Graham. That's uncharacteristic of him, and when you are a prime player in this offense and need to step up, there's no excuse for a drop. Six possessions, five punts, and they took an eight. 17 on answer for Boston College. Tears breaks a tackle. Gets inside Boston College territory out of bounds at the 48. So he picks up the penalty yards and a couple more, and it'll bring up third and about eight for the Huskies. And what else am I seeing out of the Northern Illinois Husky offensive line? They're starting to cut the defensive ends and the defensive tackles. So they're not coming off the ball as aggressively as they normally are because they're shooting their hands and worried about their knees. This has been the problem though tonight, third down. Pass over the middle, incomplete. Flag fly. Kevin Bletzer all over Brown, and that's going to be pass interference on Boston College. Pass interference, defense, number 49. Ball Take the first to third down conversion any way you get it. Either way, you still have that momentum going. You see the clear crossing route, hands around the waist, got beat, didn't want to give it up. So on that one, you don't mind that he took the penalty because if he doesn't, there is a lot of running room. Boston College, 47 sacks last year, second in the country. Is the defensive line getting frustrated at this point without a sack tonight? Without a doubt they are because they're getting hit from all angles. They're getting their legs chopped. They've got running backs, tight ends getting to them. So what are you not doing? You're not just playing free. You're looking around to see where they're coming from. Flag thrown at the line of scrimmage. Huff. Got a couple of yards. Offside, defense, number 94. Lined up in the neutral zone, five-yard penalty, first down. And that's what Noah Merritt is known for, explosiveness, quick, getting into the backfield, using his side to twist. Had an unbelievable bowl game against Maryland, but here you see him right now. He's going to jump the count just a little bit. I actually think that his hand was in the neutral zone, and that's what caused it because the motion on the snap wasn't that bad. Pretty clean first half from both teams. Starting to see some of those penalties here in the second half. Just eight combined from these two teams. Grant keeps it himself. Chopped down Cameron Moore as well as Zach Allen. Once again, Zach Allen, you've got to remain disciplined outside. You see him right here. You see him trying to contain, but you've got to make sure that you have the quarterback as well. Interiorly, you've got to get off blocks. You can't leave it one-on-one -on -one for Zach Allen with two guys. An importantly drive for NIU. Not only are they getting yards, getting a chance here to get some points, but they need to give their defense a rest. Jack Sweet. DJ Brown inside the 20, but a late flag thrown in the backfield. Holding offense, number 35, 10-yard penalty, second down. That's Shane Wyman on the outside, the tight end. See Shane Wyman right here. Gets a pancake block, but what also did he do? He gets his hands outside. You see the grab, the pull. 
in open space like that, it is a clear call for the referee. So instead of a first down inside the 20, it'll bring up second down for NIU back at their own, excuse me, at the Boston College 41. Inside of five minutes, third quarter, Northern Illinois led this game 10-3, but Anthony Brown has come on for the Eagles at quarterback. And 17 unanswered. Graham settles in, throws a strike, and Beebe's got the catch. Chad Beebe at the 31, and it's a first down for the Huskies. You see him going one-on-one -on -one against Will Harris. He gets Will Harris back on his heels and is able to break off and get that little bit of separation that he needs to get the first down. Four catches tonight for Chad Beebe, fifth-year senior from Aurora, Illinois. And we all know his father, Don Beebe. Coached him in high school with a couple of state national championships his junior and senior year. Chad missed last year with a knee injury. He got a lot of inspiration from his dad who missed a Super Bowl with an injury himself. On the sweep, this time it's a throwback. Graham's got the catch! Brian Graham makes the grab on the throw from Christian Blake. And if he doesn't trip up over his own feet, maybe he gets it inside the 10, but instead, down at the 18-yard line. Great call by Mike Uremovich, the offensive coordinator. He sees that the entire Boston College defense is playing aggressive and trying to fast flow. Runs a little trick, runs the quarterback on the outside. Unbelievable call to keep things rolling and the momentum to start switching over to Northern Illinois. Marcus Jones on the handoff, gets to the outside. Down to the 10 yard line. Ty Schwab grabbed him around the ankles. But NIU now starting to play with a little bit of pace. And it's great because what do you need to do in the zone stretch? You've got to move the defensive end. Great block on that sharpening. Getting things open and, and getting the goal go. Bebe and Brown in the slot. Graham keeps it himself, picks out Allen. Makes the tackle, but gets inside the seven, and that'll be a first and goal for NIU. So they had those opening drives, really Graham's 60-yard run earlier in the half. Their most explosive play, he threw a touchdown pass. Nothing else offensively. But here, finally putting together a drive. This is the 12th play. Trying to stop this Boston College run. Because they've hit, been hitting the perimeter, they've been spreading out the defense. And that's why you're seeing interiorly between the tackles, they're starting to get the run game going there. Tears at the top of the screen. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Throws it that way. They worked on more, and he won the battle. This is one that you know you need to throw to the boundary, back shoulder, and leave it for your wide receiver to be able to go up and get it. Not the defensive back, Cameron Moore. But your evidence told us with looking at the corners, they like the matchup with Cameron Moore more than Isaac Yaidem. Thought they had a chance there, but Moore, the captain of his defense, making the play. So 2.20 to go in the third, it's second and goal for NIU, down 10. Graham, throws it back, it's a wild yes! touchdown Huskies! Shane Wyman, sixth touchdown grab last year, his first here in 2017. Nice play design, you see two tight ends over here, Shane Wyman has got his hand in the ground, what do they do? You see everybody looking at that jet sweep, He's able to sneak out because of the over-pursuit by the Boston College defense. Great call, great touchdown. Now he made up for the drop earlier in the drive. His 11th career touchdown grab a record here at NIU for tight ends. Hagan adds the extra point and it's back to a one possession game. Ryan Graham, offense had been struggling. But his second touchdown pass of the night has NIU back in the game. Away is where curiosity can run its course. Where little feet run wild. Where laughter runs rampant. And adventure runs in the family. Find your way. For a dealer in the RV that's right for you, visit GoRVing.com. 
It's true. Fans are craving Dr. Pepper more than ever. So I've assembled a team. They're not exactly five stars, but they've got spirit. We'll be at tailgate. The cheap seats, love seats. If you're craving Dr. Pepper, we'll be there. We'll be everywhere. That's me up there. And yes, we are taking walk-ons. I'm in. Doug Flutie? Flutie's in! Let's go, Dr. Pepper here. Here's the boys' medium. That'll work. I'm the neighbor with the orange tractor. I mow, I grow, and care for this place I call home. I'm always on the move, getting work done, because I want to be the best version of me. Right now, a Kubota L-Series tractor can be yours with 0% financing for up to 60 months. This is why I do it. Kubota. See your local Kubota dealer for details. Come on. Excuse me. Mind if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess. Can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting, and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yeah, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. And IU finally able to put a drive together and a touchdown pass from Ryan Graham to Shane Wyman to cut it to three as we take a look at this week's AP Top 10 powered by Ram Trucks. Wisconsin struggled early with Utah State. That was a game tonight where they were tied at the half. They blew them out in the second half. Washington, tougher game tonight than last year with Rutgers. And of course, everybody gets excited about tomorrow, Alabama and Florida State. 13 plays, 75 yards, David Deal, and 528 for that offense. And that was all because of a Boston College pass interference that kept that drive alive and kept Northern Illinois with the momentum to go down and score. Hagan on the kickoff. It's the Lions on the return for Boston College, and he's not getting back to the 20-yard line. Jordan Huff makes the tackle. Down to Eric Coleman, our resident safety. Eric, what does a drive like that do for the NIU defense? For the NIU defense, it, it takes some of the pressure off when you score points, but also it gives them a much-needed break. Boston College ran 49 plays in the first half, and the speed and, and, the, and the size of this defense thrives off explosion. And if they can't get rested, they can't have the speed. And they were being gashed by the run. Anthony Brown has settled into a rhythm as well for Boston College. That was a, an enormous drive in this ballgame. Handoff Brown, A.J. Dillon. Two freshmen gets to the outside and out to the 24-yard line. Right away, I like it. Go right to the ground game. Start attacking again, seeing if you can wear down this defense. And you are being successful here in the second half, running the football. Stick with it. Dillon, their biggest recruit. Coming into camp, he's gotten four carries. This the jet sweep, it's worked all night, not there. Albert Smalls bringing down Thad Smith in the backfield, and that'll bring him third down. I understand that you want to keep the defense honest, you want to make sure that they over pursue a little bit, you want to see where they're at, but stick it in the inside, keep running the football, wear down this defense, because that's when you're getting yourself in third and manageable downs. And we've seen him converting on the third and ones as well. Nine of 17 tonight on third down. Anthony Brown has been very good here on third down tonight. Pocket collapses. He holds well over the head of his tight end. Tommy Sweeney near the sideline. And just like Eric Coleman talked about, a much-needed break, and NIU forces a three and out. And it's very surprising because what did you see? You saw Sutton Smith putting Aaron Montero on his heels. We talk about a size advantage, 315 versus 230. Leverage is winning right now. He was able to collapse the pocket, so Anthony Brown couldn't throw the ball, and he threw it off of his back foot. Noel on the punt, 39 yards in his five boots tonight. Beebe races up to grab it, called for a fair catch. So they'll start at the 43-yard line. Let's take a look at tonight's principal financial inside tracks. The plays, the total plays, the time of possession that you talked about is one of the keys for tonight. Boston College is running and had the ball nearly 24 minutes. 
And it's very surprising because if you think about it in the first half out of those 49 plays, a lot of them were just quick throws where the ball was going out of bounds. Now we're seeing now in the second half, they're starting to do it by running the football interiorly. And Boston College last year as a team for a game averaged about 64 plays on offense. Remember, they struggled mightily the last couple of years. But this is their new offense. This is the up-tempo. This is the style they're going with. Graham, one-on-one, -on -one has his receiver. It's the speedy baby. Inside the 20, down to the 11-yard line. 46 yards on the pickup from Graham to Vivi. On the outside, you see BB one-on-one getting the coverage by Traquan Smith, is able to get him to stop his feet, then try to turn around. And they said that he is the best route runner, and he just showed it off right there. Five grabs, 92 yards for the fifth-year senior. Well, just a couple of minutes ago, NIU was down by 10, but they have a chance to take the lead. BB in motion. Graham. Tries the middle of the defense. Not a whole lot of room. Ray Smith stopped him on this play. And NIU, if it wants, can let this go to the fourth quarter or they can run another play. And it looks like the Hussies are gonna let this go to the fourth quarter. Boston College, the first ACC team to come into town in 13 years. And it's turned into a great ball game. It is hard work being this good. I must be nothing but a chump to you. Bald head. Because it's hard work making something this good day look like a chump. Yo, can I get two out of three? Get up, get up, get up and get there. struggle with finances. Starting today, State Farm is here to help, giving us all the chance to simply sit down and learn. Visit letstarttoday.com or talk to an agent. We're safe and sound. Shop like a pro at Bass Pro Shops for huge savings, like Redhead Pocket Tees and Henley starting at two for $20. This 10 and a half quart aluminum fish fryer for under $30. Plus, free kids at Bottom of the ninth. Ooh, swing and a miss. Two out. In comes the All-Star with the game on the line. Let's see if Smith can protect his home turf. He's really painting the corners tonight. And here's the 3-2 pitch. Smith pulls one to right. A walk-off homer to win the game. What an amazing finish. Paint like a pro with Frog Tape brand painter's tape. For the sharpest lines every time. Male enhancement pills. Just a gimmick? Or do they really work? Some brands make outrageous claims about how much they can make you larger, but Extends doesn't make outrageous claims because Extends is the number one selling male enhancement pill in America with over a billion pills sold. Both professional football and Olympic athletes are banned from taking Extends because it's such a performance enhancer. Available without a prescription. Find Extends in the family planning and vitamin section at stores everywhere or order Extends discreetly online by visiting Extends.com. If you experience an erection lasting more than four hours, call your doctor. Hearts. They get all the love. What about me? The liver. When you overindulge, I clean you up. If that's not love, what is? Love your liver with Liverite Liverade, the natural dietary supplement that aids and supports liver function. Impurities in your liver can make you feel sluggish. Liverite's unique formula cleanses your liver from impurities in your diet and environment so you can have better energy, better quality of life. Love your liver with Liverite. Available at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Walmart. Start of the fourth quarter into Cal, Jason Horowitz, David Deal, Eric Coleman on the sideline, a three-point Boston College lead. 
for Coach Steve Adazio in his fifth year leading the Eagles. Said this week they knew they were in for a tough game here at Northern Illinois. Rod Carey said the same thing. They've gotten it. Opening the fourth quarter at second and seven at the Boston College eight-yard line. Got down here on a 46-yard play to Chad Beebe. Graham with a pair of touchdown passes here on second down. Fires to the five, it's caught. Wyman down to the four. Isaac Yaida brought him down, and it'll bring up third and about three. They can pick up a first down inside the one. You call that the Y submarine. He's coming across the green right behind the offensive line, and what are you trying to do? You're trying to get the backside linebacker or the frontside linebacker to try to take a good angle to cut him off, and it is very difficult. Great play design, nice setup. Remember, a field goal would tie it and eliminating the negative play, something that Coach Carey talked about all week. They haven't had any tonight, no turnovers. Graham to the end zone, almost picked off. Lucas Dennis almost had it and would have had space, but instead it'll bring a fourth down. One-on-one -on -one against Christian Blake, he has his eyes into the backfield, sees the quarterback eyeing him down, and that should have been an interception. Now that's an interception, that might be a pick six for 99 yards. Instead, it's Christian Hagen. On to attempt a 21-yard field goal. He hit earlier tonight from 32. Give to hold, and we're tied. With 14, 18 to go, it's the ACC and it's the MAC, and a great ball game here on this Friday night. It's time for the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. The year's best deals on the world's best-selling ATVs and side-by-sides. Now is the time to buy with rebates up to $4,000. Get started at Polaris.com. What makes the new DiGiorno Crispy Pan Pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. Pan, pan, You bake it fresh in its own pan, giving our new DiGiorno Pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Shop like a pro at Bass Pro Shops for huge savings, like savings of 50% on Redhead Wicking Camo T-shirts. Save $50 on this 30-inch digital electric smoker by Masterbuilt. Plus, free kids' activities this weekend. The famously flippable, often imitated, never duplicated Dairy Queen Blizzard. There's absolutely nothing like it, unless there's two. Right now, buy your favorite Blizzard and get another for just 99 cents. That's buy one, get one for 99 cents. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith. Or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, it's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we take a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are, no matter what your name is. Now Boston College beat Northern Illinois two years ago by a field goal. We're all tied up as we have 14, 18 to go here in the fourth quarter. And be sure to stay with us next as our guys in the studio will wrap up all the night's games, get you ready for tomorrow's action. It's Inside College Football presented by Go RVing, only on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Brett Stover, Houston Nutt, Christian Fourier waiting to talk about the other top ten matchups tonight. Washington and Rutgers and Wisconsin battling back to beat Utah State in a closer game at least for the first half than they thought. And of course this one here, big game for both these teams as well. Remember Northern Illinois five and seven last year, their first losing season in a decade. Boston College picked to finish last in the ACC Atlantic but thinking that they could have a big season. But it's got to start with a good opener. Glines from the four. That's across the 25, and Ben Glines with a 29-yard return and a late flag thrown at the 29-yard line. Uh, 
holding. Number 25, receiving team. 10 yard penalty, first down. Sixth penalty tonight on Boston College. Down to Eric Coleman, key injury update for Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois standout corner, Shawan uh, Lurie, does not look like he is going to come back in the game. He was very emotional on the sideline, getting stretched by the trainers. Now he's trying to jog, but it's something that's going to continue to hamper him, and it's going to be big for the Northern Illinois defense going down the stretch. Eric, they're all American corner from a couple of years ago who missed a couple of games last year, nagging injuries all season long, went out in the second quarter, and has not really come back in for just a couple of plays. Hilleman driven down on first down. Jawan Johnson and David Deal. These linebackers now flying around for NIU. Nice job, nice recognition. And what did he do? He slashed. He saw that there was an opening. He didn't hesitate. Went low, beat the tight end, trying to scoop and get inside for the tackle to make the block. Great recognition. Second and 11 for the Eagles. Brown, clean pocket. It's batted down. And that'll bring him third down. Sutton Smith, who had four tackles for a loss in the first half, got his hand up. It's one of the toughest things as an offensive lineman to do is to keep those hands down without getting a holding call. Smart on him. He knows he's not going to get to the quarterback. Keep your hands in the passing lane. Here is third down for Boston College. Five-man rush. Brown has nowhere to go. Draquan Brown. Richard Jr., a transfer from Community College, his first sack for NIU, and it's a huge one. Nice play design. You see the blitz off of the outside by Bobby Jones. The other side, Sutton Smith running the hoop, makes the quarterback, Anthony Brown, step up, and you just see the pocket collapse. Now, they talked about this defense doing it by committee, and after giving up 17 unanswered to Boston College, they forced some three and outs. The offense put together that 13-play drive. And now a chance to get the ball back and maybe take the lead. Beebe fields it at the 45. And they will start at the 41-yard line. Northern Illinois and this defense coming up big later here in the second half. It's time for the biggest sale of the year with the new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. It senses your every move and automatically adjusts on both sides to keep you effortlessly comfortable. And snoring? Does your bed do that? The new 360 Smart Bed is part of our biggest sale of the year where all beds are on sale. And right now, save 50% on the Labor Day Limited Edition Bed plus 30 I used to have to go in to the auto parts store. Pay too much, never find quite what I'm looking for. Now I just go online to rock out and see all the parts my car will ever need. Lower prices, more parts, more brands. It's so easy to find the right parts fast. All the parts your car will ever need. Rock out all the parts your car will ever need. Rock out of male enhancement pills. Just a gimmick? Or do they really work? Some brands make outrageous claims about how much they can make you larger, but Extends doesn't make outrageous claims because Extends is the number one selling male enhancement pill in America with over a billion pills sold. Both professional football and Olympic athletes are banned from taking Extends because it's such a performance enhancer. Available without a prescription. Find Extends in the family planning and vitamin section at stores everywhere or order Extends discreetly online by visiting Extends.com. If you experience an erection lasting more than four hours, call your doctor. When I was younger, I didn't want to admit I had a serious disease. Because of my diabetes, I lost the sight in my left eye. Misconceptions continue to surround this monster public health issue. But the simple truth is, diabetes can often be prevented and complications avoided. You're not alone. Understand the realities of diabetes and know that you can manage it and lead a full, active life.
last time an ACC team played in Husky Stadium, it was 14 years ago, number 14, Maryland. And yeah, that's P.J. Fleck catching the ball before he was rowing the boat. He was catching passes for Northern Illinois, and they were knocking off Maryland in overtime, upsetting the 14th ranked team in the country. They would then go on to win in Tuscaloosa at number 21, Alabama, had a 10-win season in 2003. And Northern Illinois had a lot of those here in DeKalb. But remember, Rod Carey's team is coming off a five and seven year. He said they were embarrassed last season. They needed to come out strong. And here they are. They were down by 10 points in the third quarter, but they've got the ball in Boston College territory. They're showing resiliency and mental toughness that if they get this game in the fourth quarter, the pressure's on Boston College, not us. Graham keeps it himself inside the 40 and down at the 38 yard line. Now remember, they had six straight drives where they couldn't do anything. In the last two drives, they put up the 10 points to answer the 17 unanswered from Boston College. And that 13-play drive completely revived their defense. It gave them time to rest, and what did they do? They came out with energy and were aggressive and were able to play fast. That's Jones with Graham. Quarterback keeps it himself. Gets to the outside and drilled. Hammered at the 35, Isaac Yaida, the senior corner from Worcester Mass. That's all Ryan Graham because look at his wide receivers. They're trying to get into there, but they don't have good angles. And he's very lucky because right there, Christian Blake almost got a block in the back. Graham with a near career high on the ground, 96 yards. Remember in the second quarter, broke off a 60-yarder and set up their opening touchdown. This is third and one. Taking a shot. Has a receiver, and it's over. His open man. Ryan Graham had Christian Blake, and he just missed him. Once again, nice job by the offensive line. You see Marcus Jones at running back being able to step up and get protection by the blitz on the outside. Just got to make that throw. Offense staying on the field for fourth and one. You like this in a tie game? Why not? You've got nothing to lose. The one thing you on um, defense have to think about, the no-brainer, no snap, no play. Let's see if they actually do. They do snap it. It's a sweep to the outside, and Boston College eats it up. Connor Strahan, all-conference honorable mention in the ACC last year. A guy they say has pro potential, and he stops NIU's drive. Great job by Connor Strahan. He sees that the, the motion is coming over. He's seen it enough today in the jet sweep. Is able to take a perfect angle to come up with a key tackle and stop the 4-2-1. Gamble doesn't work. Can Boston College take advantage when we come back? It's 6 a.m. 40 million Americans are waking up to a Gillette shave. And at our factory in Boston, 1,200 workers are starting their day building on over 100 years of heritage, craftsmanship, and innovation. Today, we're bringing you America's number one shave at lower prices every day, putting money back in the pockets of millions of Americans. As one of those workers, I'm proud to bring you Gillette Quality for Less because nobody can beat the men and women of Gillette. Gillette, the best a man can get. Famously flippable, often imitated, never duplicated Dairy Queen Blizzard. There's absolutely nothing like it. Unless there's two. Right now, buy your favorite Blizzard and get another for just 99 cents. That's buy one, get one for 99 cents. best deals on the world's best-selling ATVs and side-by-sides. Now is the time to buy with rebates up to $4,000. Get started at Polaris.com. What makes the new DiGiorno Crispy Pan Pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. 
You bake it fresh in its own pan, giving our new DiGiorno pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. I'm not sure if it's September 1st or November 1st. We're under 50 degrees here with 11.44 to go in the fourth quarter in a 20 all ball game as we take a look at tonight's Geico difference makers. Redshirt freshman quarterback Anthony Brown, first career start. He's had some up and down moments here tonight. But what does he have to do in this drive? He has to maintain consistency. And the other thing, he cannot make a mental error that's going to cost him the game. And then Ryan Graham on the other side. Again, a quarterback battle. He won it. Rough moments in the second quarter. Brought him back in the third. Inaccurate with his deep balls. He had two opportunities to make a big play by taking shots downfield. That would have been touchdowns. Bad throws. Big formation here on first down for Brown. On the rollout. It's wide. It's caught. Korob Adrizi, a backup tight end. His first grab of the night goes for a pickup of about one. Nice pressure by Josh Corcoran off the edge, making him throw the ball earlier than he wanted to. Again, it's quick. Pillman on the pitch. Has blockers out in front. Uses him in a huge hole. But a flag flew back at the 43-yard line. John Hillman broke it out to the 45, but we'll see what the penalty is. Personal foul, block below the waist, offense, number 77, 15-yard penalty, second down. That's their starting center, John Baker. He's on the Remington Trophy watch list as the best center in the nation. Right here he is. You see him pulling into open space. He tries to go low. He does. Cuts him. Penalty. When you're that big and that strong, you don't even need to cut him. Run him over. And again, that part of the new emphasis in college football as well. And that cut originally was on McKelty Williams, but Kyle Pugh was following up the play, and he's the one that's down around the 41-yard line. The redshirt sophomore making his first career start. Coaching staff this week, Kevin Kane, defensive coordinator. Could not talk highly enough of a guy who really didn't play a lot of linebacker this year, but tonight has made some big plays. He gets rolled up by his own guy in the pursuit, and it wasn't even really part of the cut. You thought that that was it when you saw it in full speed, but you see that it's when Mikel Williams is down. Pew had the interception earlier tonight. Made a few big tackles, couple behind the line of scrimmage. And again, this is something we've talked about for NIU. Their defense last year was just riddled with injuries. They lost corners, Albert Small, Shawan Lurie. Bobby Jones missed the last four games. Jawan Johnson missed the last eight games. The Pew trying to run off here under his own power, and that's a good sign for Coach Carey. Fourteen tackles tonight for Kyle Pew. He has been absolutely everywhere. And then it is a big loss because he is the quarterback of the defense. He is the signal caller. So off the penalty, it's second and 17 for Brown. Quick throw. Walker has blockers. And Walker gets to the 40. So Walker picks up 11. And it'll bring up third and six for Anthony Brown. Going with a little wide receiver screen, getting the offensive lineman out there again. And just trying to get their skill position players at wide receiver in open space and letting them win by being able to get defensive backs over pursuing. Batted down. It's deflected and it's incomplete. Pass for Idrisi. And it was batted down. Joe Sanders at the line of scrimmage. Once again, when you can't get there, you see him going one-on-one -on -one at the left tackle position. He's able just to get that right hand in there enough to tip the football and where he can't get it delivered accurately and nice play. So a stalemate on offense for both these teams as we had 10 and a half minutes to go in the ball game. That penalty really hurt the momentum of this Boston College offense. Second time that's been the case tonight. Fair catch for Chad Beebe. And so Ryan Graham and NIU will take over at their own 25-yard line. How about Ryan Graham here in the second half?
He's had some great opportunities. You see him getting the touchdown on the quarterback key to the option to everything else. But this is where he needs to make bigger improvements. That's the touchdown that we saw to Shane Wyman. But the shots that he took, the ones that he missed, the inaccurate throws, those are ones that you have to make as a quarterback. And that's BB took, but again, you're right, he had some open receivers earlier in that drive. But ton, 10 unanswered points for the fourth year junior. Has not been sacked tonight, and that's incomplete for Spencer Tears. Harold Landry is starting to turn it on. You see that Jordan Huff had to make a big hit to keep him off of Ryan Graham. So let's see what they do. We need Zach Allen and Wyatt Ray, if you're on the Boston College defense, to step up because if Harold Landry is getting all that attention, you know that you have a one-on-one -on -one matchup and it is for your advantage. FBS leader in sacks last year was 16 and a half. His team had 47 second in the country, but NIU only gave up eight sacks which led the nation as well, and they've won the battle in that category tonight. Have not given up a sack. Full start. That's called on Shane Wyman, the tight end. But again, Harold Landry, the all-everything defensive end for Boston College tonight. Leader of this defense, all the accolades, preseason first-team All-American. But again, this defense, no sacks tonight. None, because what are they doing? They're moving Jordan Huff to that side to make sure that they get hit, hits on him. Shane Wyman, get hits on him, chip him, cut him, do anything to disrupt him. Here's another deep shot. And it's intercepted. Lucas Dennis, his second career interception. And Rod Carey said they had to eliminate negative plays. That's the first one tonight. They started to show off like they were in too high, but what did they do? They stemmed a single high. Lucas Dennis is sitting in the backfield watching the entire time Ryan Graham take that shot. Underthrown, not to the outside for only the receiver to catch it. Bad decision on his part. And it's the change of momentum now for this Boston College offense to get back on the field. They had all the momentum coming into the second half. They carry that early in the third quarter. Have not done much here in this fourth. Hits the reverse. Hits Smith, and it doesn't go anywhere. Pick him up just two for Jeff Smith. Let's go down to Eric with an update on Kyle Pugh. Kyle Pugh, will, coaches say he will be back. It's cramped strike this defense again. They've been on the field a long time, and over the, over the course of this game, cramps have broken down some of these players. And for the moment, Antonio Jones Davis taking over in the middle. Brown at the feet of his receiver, Jeff Smith. It's been that, that tempo that they've been talking about. It's used, they've got a lot of plays. They're over 80 tonight here in this ball game, but off the momentum, off the interception. So quickly here, it could get the momentum right back to NIU if they don't pick up this third down. They're keeping them in the football game by their own errors. So this is a huge down and distance to get this third and eight, and they need to convert. Brown. No one home. Kobe White, the intended receiver. Sanders again in the backfield. And a three and out for Boston College. What you're seeing up front is that the offensive line also for Boston College is starting to wear down. You see these smaller, faster players starting to get that leverage and push the pocket back. And you can see that Anthony Brown is not comfortable right now. So remember, it's a redshirt freshman. It's his first career collegiate start. It's a tie ball game on the road, and you wonder with nerves coming to play here in the last 9.48. Noel with a big boot, drives BB inside his 10. He's fielding it, and he brings it back out to the 14 yard line. 51 yards on the punt, but it's NIU getting the ball back with 9.39 to go on opening night. It's true, fans are craving Dr. Pepper more than ever. So I've assembled a team. They're not exactly five stars, but they've got spirit. We'll be a tailgate. The cheap seats, love seats. If you're craving Dr. Pepper, we'll be there. We'll be everywhere. That's me up there. And yes, we are taking walk-ons. I'm in. Doug Flutie? Flutie's in! Let's go, Dr. Pepper, help. Here's a boys' medium. 
That'll work. Keeps ice for days. Stays tough for a lifetime. For 250 bucks, you'll be one happy camper. Cabela's Polar Cap Equalizer Cooler. Great price, lifetime guarantee. Only at Cabela's. What makes the new DiGiorno Crispy Pan Pizza different than delivery? Pan, 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 pan. Pan, pan, You bake it fresh in its own pan, giving our new DiGiorno Pizza a crispy, caramelized crust. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. This golden opportunity features steel, titanium, and carbon fiber. Raw elements made exhilarating by Lexus. Experience uncompromising performance at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event before it ends. Choose from the IS Turbo, ES350, or NX Turbo for $299 a month for 36 months if you lease now. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Take five. One in five chance of winning. One of us quintuplets should win. You hear that, Jeff? You bet I did. Jake? Sure did. How about you, Jason? You hear that, bro? Yep. How about you, Gene? Yeah, no, I, I got it. Makes sense. One in five, yep. Sorry, bro. Whatever. Tank five. Fill your tank. Scratch a card. One in five wins. Conoco. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Ram Trucks. Proven to last. By Humana. And by Principal. We can help you plan for that. 20 apiece, 9.39 to go here in DeKalb, Boston College, Northern Illinois. Jason Horowitz, David Deal, Eric Coleman, happy to have you with us here on this Friday night. Close game, David. Both these teams lost close openers last year. Where are we here with 9.39 to go? Well, Northern Illinois is exactly where they want to be in this football game. But, Ryan Graham, you got the starting position because in practice you secured the football, you didn't make bad decisions, and you gave your offense opportunities to succeed. That last one, throwing it into double coverage, that's not winning football. And he had the interception, handoff to Marcus Jones on first down. Eric, what are you feeling down there in terms of momentum here in this tie ball game? Well, this, as you know, this game is full of ebbs and flows. And the team who can keep their composure and continue to play and follow the game plan will have the success. Right now, Northern Illinois is sticking to their game plan. They need their receivers to come up with some catches. They've already had three drops this half and they need to make those big catches to keep these drives going and to win this game. Yeah. Just 12 of 29 tonight, they stick to the ground on second down. Zach Allen brings down Marcus Jones. It's close to the sticks. But the market is third down in less than a yard. Great push and surge by Max Sharping and Jordan Steckler, the left tackle, left guard. Move the point of attack, move the D tackle and the defensive end. Nice running lane. Not a strength tonight of NIU. One of 11 on third down. Grant, hand on inside. That's a first down. Landry tackled him after a pickup of two. And it'll bring up first and 10 for NIU in a huge two yard run. And it's something that they talked about, that eventually when we start breaking them down, we're going to be able to run inside the tackles. They started outside in the perimeter early. Now they're getting it going interiorly. It's an offense that ran for about 240 yards a game last year. Just 161 tonight, but they're picking it up. Graham on first down, taking a shot and overthrows his receiver again. Looking for BB, but great coverage by the safety, Will Harris. And I will tell you what, the right tackle, Ryan Roberts, is fighting tough because he's doing just enough to run Harold Landry by. See him right here working, continuing to make sure that he just pressures him, runs him by, and just gives him enough time to throw the football. He's been doing it the entire second half. That's a tackle making his first career start against an All-American who had 16 and a half sacks last year. On second down, the pitch. Jones and Boston College defense triple teams him at the 25. Allen out there, Schwab out there. And it'll bring up third and very long inside of eight minutes in a tie ball game. This is a huge play. I, I know that we keep saying that, but 
these third and longs, this is where Ryan Graham has been very inaccurate throwing the football, and this is not the position that you want to be in offensively. Mike Uremovich told us on third and 10, third and 12, he has no problem with the draw. Here, though, in the fourth quarter, it's a different story. Ball batted up in the air. And they finally whistle it as an incomplete. That was a long time before they said, but finally Boston College got to the quarterback. They did, but he was completely unblocked. You get Wyatt Ray to get that pressure, and then all of a sudden you see the running back come over. That's something you need to do initially. You've got to secure the line of scrimmage so that you give him enough time to get through his progressions. And once again, he takes another hit. So with 7.26 to go in this ebb and flow that you guys have been talking about, neither offense really able to get moving. Ruling on the field of an incomplete pass is under further review. And so they're going to take a look if this went forward. Now remember, if there is an immediate recovery, even if it's ruled incomplete on the field, they can give the ball to the defense if they see that there was an immediate recovery even with the whistle blue. So does his arm go forward? Yes, it does. There's a thrown motion right there. Free play so confirms the rolling on the field of an incomplete pass. Incomplete down. Yeah, real right. quick confirm from our replay official. That's Harold Dynas from the Mid-American Conference up in the replay booth. Jeff McGonaghy, the head referee from this ACC crew here tonight on the road here at Northern Illinois. So it is fourth down and it is Matt Ferentz on to punt. The true freshman has been good tonight. Seven kicks, averaging 40 yards. Low snap, has control, no pressure. And booms one. Walker has it at the 23 and a 10 yard return. 51 yard punt, 41 on the net. So David, we talked about what Ryan Graham had to do. They weren't able to do it. What about Anthony Brown in his first career start, the redshirt freshman? You just wonder how they're going to come out offensively. Scott Loeffler is going to be aggressive, but at the same time, he realizes where they're at in this game. They still have three timeouts, and they can still wear down this interior defensive line for Northern Illinois. The point tonight where he had 11 of 14 passes. They go to the ground on first down. John Hilleman the carry and not a lot of room. 23 carries tonight for Hilleman. Averaging just 2.7 and that's Bobby Jones down on the field. And again, remember, Kyle Pugh left earlier with an injury. Their middle linebacker who has made 14 tackles. He's back in the ball game. But that's Jones who missed the last four games last year with an injury. And he's been very effective. Think about the two batted balls he just had in the last Boston College drive. And back up on his feet. Now he wants to stay in, but he's got to leave for at least one play. Have to leave for one. Now they lost Shawan Lurie earlier tonight, their star cornerback. He left in the second quarter with an injury, and he is done for the night. Second and ten. Play action. Pressure caught. There he goes! Sutton Smith has been an enormous factor tonight. Unbelievable get off. And you even have the running back coming over, and Hilleman completely whiffs. You see color. You've got to hit it. You've got to protect. You can't be worried about anything else and trying to get out on your route. Back to the 26-yard line, and it's third and 18. Pressure again. Brown dances out of it. Downfield, near the sticks. Was it caught? Yes. Korob Adrizi right near the first down marker. The question is, did he get across the 44? Now they're marking him short. He needed the 44, and the mark is just over the 43. <laughs> Steven Tazio's keeping the offense on the field in their own territory here on fourth and one. 
QB sneak. He's got it. First down for Anthony Brown, and what a play on that third down by the Rashford freshman quarterback. Unbelievable play because what did they do defensively? They only rushed three and had a spy on him. He let his legs beat him. Here it is. He had a spy on him. Bobby Jones unable to come up and make a big tackle. And here is it. You see in his body language, he's crouching right over the center. It's easy to see he's going to sneak it. His veteran senior, John Baker, gets the push, and they get the first down. And now we're inside of 5.30 here in this fourth quarter. Opening night in DeKalb. Pressure up the middle. Hillman dances out of one tackle, can't get away from Jones. Back into the ball game after that short rest on the injury, and it's a loss of one. And another official timeout for an injury. And that's John Baker who's running off the field for Boston College. And again, that is their leader, that is the captain. His 27th start of his career tonight, their center. Alec Lindstrom comes in for him, number 72 at center. And that is a true freshman. What a spot to take your first snap of the night. Second down, Brown off his back foot. It's over the receiver, and it looked like Traquan Smith was all over him, and there's the late flag. That's an affair, it's defense. And that was on Traquan Smith. And he's down on the play as well. He's holding his calf, his left calf for cramps again. It's easy to see the contact. See the ball thrown. There it is, hitting the back just that little bit, that just enough to reroute the wide receiver. Hands over, hand on the jersey. And so while the training staff attends to Traquan Smith, it gives Boston College the opportunity to work on John Baker. And their star center has now come back into the ball game as Traquan Smith has helped off the field. But unfortunately, what just happened? Alec Lindstrom just lost his eligibility and unable to redshirt for one point. Well, who knows if they'll need him throughout the course of the rest of the season, but at least for the moment, it's the Remington Trophy watch list center who's back in the ballgame. And off the penalty, it's first and ten in NIU territory. Handoff Hilleman, and it's Pugh making tackle number 15 tonight. No gain on first down. A lot of this pressure where they're making these tackles for a loss are from the back side of the zone scheme. You've got to make sure you cut off the defensive tackle, but you've got to get something on the weak side linebackers. They're running through, they're finding gaps, they're getting penetration, coming up with huge tackles. Brown out of the gun. Far side is Cotton Walker. Big time hit with Kennedy Williams, the safety. They'll keep the clock running at about the 38-yard line. It'll bring up third and six for Boston College. Little pick and run. You see the up and under. Nice throw. Nice timing. Continuing to move forward. And here we are. Third and six. Can they protect and hold up? Because the last time they did it. On the rollout, it's Brown. Hits Walker. He doesn't get the first down. They're keeping the offense on the field. And another injury here for NIU. That looks like Michael Allen, who made the tackle on Michael Walker. Making the tackle, getting rolled up. It's hard to see what it is, though. Made the great defensive play. 
to bring up fourth down. That's Colton Lichtenberg. Career long of 43 yards. So Allen comes off the sideline. Boston College offense to be a 53 yarder. So Brown staying on the field for fourth down. Taking a shot. It's complete. It's a first down for BC. Kobe White making his sixth catch in his first career game for the Eagles, and it's his biggest of the night. Great anticipation by Anthony Brown because that ball was out even before Kobe White came back to it. Perfect timing, great throw. Brown spins out of a tackle. Can't get away from Pew. Williams cleaned it up. But David, if you're NIU and you're on the timeout side of this, you're inside of three minutes. You have all three timeouts. It's tied. How worried are you that you might not get the ball back? I mean, you're very worried. Your defense has been holding up, but big plays like that keeps Boston College moving the chains and moving forward with momentum. Brown to the outside. Williams makes the tackle on Walker. It'll bring up third down. When do you start thinking about using the timeouts on defense? Well, here we are at a big third down, so you'll see if they do not convert or convert, this is where you'll use that timeout. In these last couple drives, Michael Walker has completely stepped up in this football game. On third down, Brown looking for Walker, and he throws it out of the end zone. Eight catches tonight for Walker, a career high, but that'll bring up fourth down and six. And they're bringing on Colton Lichtenberg to try a 37-yard field goal to give Boston College the lead. Lichtenberg is made two tonight. Good from 42. Good from 45. Can he hit from 37? It's good, and BC has the lead with 2.13 to go here in DeKalb. Now, how much difference a year makes? Last year in the opener in Dublin, Lichtenberg missed two field goals. They lost to Georgia Tech by three. Here tonight, he's a perfect three for three. And he won this battle. This is something that people weren't really talking about because of the quarterback battle, but he won this kicking battle, and for him to come out and make that kick, very clutch and shows that he has now the mental toughness to handle with adversity because last year, the missed field goals, the missed extra points cost their team football. So, now it turns to NIU after a 13-play drive for Boston College to retake the lead. And Rod Carey, last year their team lost a bunch of heartbreakers, including opening night at Wyoming, a game that had a two-hour lightning delay, a triple overtime loss to the Cowboys that was here on CBS Sports Network. Other heartbreakers throughout the season, they built momentum. What can they do here at home on opening night with 2.13 to go down by three? Kick off again into the end zone. So whatever they're going to do, it's going to start from the 25-yard line. The one thing that they need to worry about are blitzes from the weak side away from Harold Landry because they're putting backs over there, chipping with the tight end. But now they're starting to get that pressure in his face of Ryan Graham where he can't throw it accurately. The other thing, he can't take a big sack right now. Christian Hagen, all-Mac kicker two years ago. But his career long 41 last year. Really need to get it close to around the 30 to get it into his range. Plenty of time. All three timeouts for the Huskies. And again, a redshirt junior making his ninth career start. Four last year. Four is a redshirt freshman. Has had moments tonight, but against the strength of Boston College, which is the defense. Pressure comes on first down. He reads it and over the head of D.J. Brown. Rams pass incomplete. 
Now that's something that Boston College has not had a lot of tonight, pressure, but they got it on first down. This second half, and especially now in the fourth quarter, they've really ratcheted up, like I said, away from Harold Landry. If you want to get the attention to the other side, we're going to add on to the other side and make you force you throw early. They bring five. It's battled down at the line of scrimmage. Tanner Karafa got his right hand up. Graham is now one of his last nine. And David, on third and ten, yes, you have three timeouts. So the question is this deep in your own territory with three timeouts. Right there with the rush. Can't get there. Gets his hand right up in the throwing lane. And like I said, as an offensive lineman, that is one of the toughest things that if you give up ground to get those hands. Up. Landry left unblocked. Graham had to run it up the middle in a two-yard game. And so do you go for it on fourth and eight, or do you punt away with all three timeouts remaining? You have to go for it. You have to. The way that the offense for Boston College has played, the way that they've been able to move down the field and just hold on to the time of possession, you've got to go. Now you don't have much of a choice. Because you burn a timeout with 147 to go. You made 30 seconds. And it looked like they weren't necessarily sure what they were going to do. Look at Harold Landry right here. Completely unblocked on that play. I know there's certain defensive ends that you have to worry about, some that you don't on the backside. You know that he has the ability to penetrate and most importantly, work flat down the line of scrimmage. So maybe the last play of the ball game for the offense for NIU. Down three at home. It's been a struggle all night against a good defense. What type of play are you bringing up? I think that they're going to try to move the pocket with the pressure coming up the middle. The one thing that they can do is try to run maybe a little play action. I think that they're going to try to get to Shane Wyman. He's been the security blanket. He's been the blocker. He's the one that's been able to sneak out. He could be the big player right now. The star tight end three catches tonight, including a touchdown. So we'll see what this offense and Rod Carey has in store. Last year, nine of 19 on fourth down. Pressure comes. Graham has to get it away. It's caught. It's Wyman. And he's out across the 45, and they keep the drive alive. Now, you called it, partner. Great play call, because what have they been doing in the other drives? They've been helping them and keeping them in to help out for the offensive packets and the defensive ends. Great play. Graham settles in. Deep shot. And it's over the head of Christian Blake, thrown into double coverage. Clock stops, 1.29 to go. And again, Northern Illinois still with two timeouts, down by a field goal. I mean, just an enormous throw as Graham was getting hit to find Wyman. about 25 yards away from field goal range for their senior kicker, Christian Hagen. Here they move the pocket on second down. Graham. Inside the 40, it's Brown on the back shoulder, and it's a first down for NIU. Like I was saying, with all the pressure in the middle that they're coming with, you've got to move the position. You've got to move the launch point. Great play call, great throw. First and 10 for NIU from here. It would be a 54-yard field goal for Hagen. Clock stops with the play out of bounds. All of this continued on a fourth and eight that Graham hit to Wyman. Pressure again. Settles down. One for one for Beattie. And that's pass interference. Cameron Moore, one-on-one -on -one coverage. 15 yard penalty, first down. And just like that, NIU is in the field goal range with 120 to go in the fourth. Hands all over him and doesn't get his head around to look at the football. What a job by Ryan Graham. Had not moved the offense at all in the fourth quarter. But in winning time, 
has made some big time plays. Can they finish off the drive? Already in field goal range with 120 and two timeouts remaining. Keeps it himself. Landry brings him down from behind. So David, obviously here, you're in field goal range. Gotta stay that way. But with one minute to go at two timeouts, they can touch down here for the win. You are, but what do you not want to do? You do not want to try to go for too much and make a costly mistake, especially at quarterback. Stay in rhythm, stay with the short intermediate passes, and what it also was, the perimeter runs. They haven't really done it. With that many people inside interiorly in the box, you gotta get the ball outside. And they took a ton of time on second down. And it's PB crossing in the middle. Cameron Moore makes the tackle at the 22. And again, they continue to let the clock wind. Down to 31 seconds, and now Rod Carey takes the timeout. So you wonder if one of the things he was thinking timeout, as he takes a second Illinois. timeout is, okay, we know we're in field goal range. We have a good kicker. No matter what happens, we don't want to give Boston College time left if we get a field goal or a touchdown. They know overtime situations. They've been into a lot of them last season. So they're experienced in this part. But also, what did we say? They want to be aggressive, but also they know that they have to be smart. And in order to do that, they've got to take the points as a field goal. I would run the ball interiorly and get this game into overtime. Hagan tonight has hit a pair. 32 and 21. Two years ago, First team all Mac. He was 23 of 30 his first two years here in DeKalb. Last year he struggled, but he won the battle in camp. They said they weren't worried about their senior kicker coming back. But again, the question here on third and nine, how much are you going for? Know that you're already in field goal range, and we're about to find out. We got trips left, and once again, Boston College showing pressure up the middle. And they come with it. Six men rush to the end zone, and it's out of bounds. Christian Blake working on Isaac Yaitam. And it'll bring up fourth down and it'll trot out Christian Hagen. So NIU's offense worked it into field goal range. They took almost all the time off the clock. And they set up their senior for a 39 yard attempt here at home to try and tie it against a score from the ACC. Hayden sack to snap it. Chad Beebe to hold. Pick this up. Hayden off the post. A low line drive doesn't get there. And they relied on their kicker and it backfired. Unbelievable. He didn't follow through because there was pressure off of the edge. He didn't follow through on the kick. Cameron Moore coming off of the edge. Does not follow through. And I wonder if Allen got the tip right around the line. But Steve Adazio in Boston College, last year on opening day, lost a three-point game because of field goal kick. start, offense, number 67, five-yard penalty, first down. And a false start on victory formation. But last year, it was the kicking game that cost them. But here tonight, three Correction. made field goals for BC. Disconcerting signals, five-yard penalty, first down. And you change the call that on NIU instead. You hear them barking out signals trying to get Boston College to jump off again. How big of a road win is this for Steve Adazio? Last year, they won seven games. Just two, though, inside the conference. This they knew was a tough opener. But on the road, Steve Adazio will take it. Don't Final forget inside now. college football. Coming your way next, Brent Stover, Houston Nut, Christian Fourier, waiting to wrap up this one as well as the other big games tonight here on this Friday night. And get you set for tomorrow's huge action all over the country. This was a complete 
possible trap game for Boston College going into an unknown environment they haven't really played here new offense new quarterback I am very very pleased with the way that Anthony Brown played showed resiliency stuck with the game plan and then third and fourth quarter made the place for him that he needed to make the redshirt freshman quarterback who won the battle in camp threw for 191 a couple of touchdown passes and put together a five minute drive late in the fourth quarter to get Boston College the lead with a field goal. Eagles win the opener here tonight on the road in DeKalb. As we go downstairs to Eric Coleman with the winning head coach. I'm here with Coach Adazio, and Coach, congratulations on the win. Can you talk about the importance of getting off to a fast start and winning a tough game on the road? Yeah, I mean, it was great for us to have to win it the way we did on the road. I, you know, you don't, you're not ever looking for it to come down to that. But uh, I think we showed a lot of resiliency. Um, you know, I thought we came out. We had a chance to, you know, put that game away uh, in the third quarter. And then we let up a big drive there. But credit to, to Northern. I think they have a, you know, a really good football team. We came up here on a Friday night, played them on the road. They got a good football team, tough environment, and uh, our guys found a way to win. Can you talk about the performance of your, your freshman quarterback? Yeah, I mean, I think he showed a lot of poise, you know. I think there was a lot of poise out here today. I think I think he did a really good job. I mean, he's got one under his belt, and he got one in a very competitive environment, which will help, you know. If you win a game like this and you're not really challenged in any way, sometimes you don't, you don't, you don't pull that out. I think this helped us to pull it out, to be on the road in this environment with a young quarterback, but I thought he did a really fine job. I just think we got to help him more and play cleaner. We have some critical penalties here that, that really hurt us, you know, and we got to make sure we get rid of those. Thanks for your time, Coach. Yeah. Congra good luck. The rest of the season. Appreciate it. All right, Eric, thank you very much. The offense ran 92 plays, and they get a three point win here tonight at Northern Illinois. Now, for David Deal and Eric Coleman and our entire CBS crew in DeKalb, I'm Jason Horowitz. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24 hour home of CBS Sports. Take you back to New York. Brent Stover and the gang in New York with Inside College Football is coming to you now, presented by Go RV. So Adazio's got the conference opener against Wake Forest, a team you would think that they could beat next week. Wake won their opener. So golden opportunity for BC to start 2-0. They won a bowl game last year, seven wins. They get it done on the road. Uh, but, Coach, I guess my question would be, how would you have done differently things in terms of managing the clock and the situation for Northern Illinois in the final draft. Northern Illinois, they'll be sick when they watch this film tomorrow. They'll be sick because they had opportunities. You know, when you got D.J. Brown, you have a receiver that's really making some beautiful back shoulder catches, uh, getting some guys open. And under duress with that good pass rusher, they still got the ball down the field. But the clock is so important. You know, you still had all your timeouts. So use your timeouts. Be a, probably be a little bit more aggressive going to that end zone. But Coach, he probably felt like he had a lot of confidence in his kicker. Yeah. Well, it seemed like they took a couple shots to try and win it, right, and get that touchdown, and they got a pass interference call. And, and then after that, they just figured, you know, listen, we, right. have, we, have, we have plenty of timeouts. Let's just play for the time and get it into overtime. So were you okay with that? With the no, way they played it? No, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm going to try and score. Right. I'm going to try and score as much. But listen, that defensive line was coming after them, and I was amazed that they didn't get the ball knocked out because Landry, nobody Landry. was blocking him. Landry, Landry was there on two every seconds. play. Less than Wait. two seconds he was there. Anthony Brown had a good second half quarterback for good BC, 26 of 42, 191. Two touchdowns. They win it into Cal 23 20. Fresh edition of Inside College Football next. How do you want to live as a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. For a limited time, get 20% below MSRP on almost every 2017 GMC Terrain model. That's nearly $8,000 below MSRP on this terrain. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith. Or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, it's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we take a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are. No matter what your name is. While other companies are raising their rates, 
The General is fighting to make auto insurance easier to get, regardless of your driving record. The monthly payments are low, and you can get immediate proof of insurance. Get an anonymous online quote and ride with the General. Too quick for him, General. Nice footwork, Jack. Somebody give me some ice. <laughs> for a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. College football presented by Go RV. Brent Stover, three-time SEC coach of the year Houston Nut, the big tight end, former All-American and national champion Colorado, Christian Fourier. A pair of top ten teams on this opening Friday night of the season, and we begin in the Pac-12 with number eight Washington taking on Rutgers in the war before the shore as we enter this Labor Day weekend. And Rutgers came to play against Jake Browning and company. Although with Washington down 7-3 here late second, they get a spark coach. Dante Pettis, excellent job right here, reading his blocks. Good job blocking without a penalty. Good job blocking the last guy, touchdown. So the Huskies go up by three as they go in the locker room. Now, LaVon Coleman here. Yeah, somebody missed an opportunity right there to make a play. And then again, Jake Browning with a beautiful pass, using the sideline, keeping it in bounds. Nice catch by Gaskin, number nine. Miles Gaskin right there, who had seven carries for 59. Browning through for 284 and two. Rutgers played a whale of a game for a half in terms of just containing the nation's number eight. But in the end, they fall with a final of 30 to 14. The Fighting Fourier's. Remember, <laughs> they played for the Pac-12 title last year. Ralphie. Taking on a Colorado State team that hung 62 on Oregon State last week. Uh, they wouldn't do the same against the Bucks. No, that's Philip Lindsay. That's 45-yard touchdown. Getting some great blocking. Lindsay, great day. 19 rushes, 140 yards. And how about Steven Montez? He escapes the rush, buys himself some time, directing traffic, going to chuck it 40, what, 31 yards mm. and find Shea Fields for the touchdown. Beautiful. I like the way he directs traffic Me right too. there, Coach. 202 and a score for Montez. A gunslinger. He is. Nick Stevens, that's Coach's guy. A lot of misfires in this game. 309, but two picks. And they couldn't find the end zone. They lose 17-3. Take away from uh, one of those two games, Coach? Uh, both games outstanding. But uh, I tell you, Jake, Jake Browning, I mean, they got took after hit, they, they took He took some hits and yeah. kept getting back up. It showed me a lot about how tough he is. Uh, you know, he, he didn't go through spring. Had shoulder surgery, so he's coming back. You know how tough he is. I like the way they executed at the end. Yeah, Rutgers was really physical. And I look at that uh, Colorado, Colorado State game. And Colorado State, the, the week before, they played uh, Oregon State and had five turnovers and had 27 points off those turnovers. It was a lot different situation for them going against a big rival like Colorado that had an extra week to rest. You would think that that game would have maybe um, helped them out a little bit, but they came out rusty, came out slow, and Colorado put those 17 points on them, and then uh, after that, they couldn't catch up. Yeah, not much offense, really, from either team uh, in the second half. Utah State, meantime, in ninth-ranked Wisconsin, the Badgers having won 37 straight home games against non-conference opponents. Utah State won just three games, Coach, last year, mm. but they were controlling it. Wisconsin, winners at 21 straight home openers. Alex Hornibrook to Troy Fumagalli. Good job right here, well-designed play. Perfect throw, touchdown. Finally, they get their first lead of the game in the third quarter, 17-10, then to Sander Newville. You know, the bootleg was working. I mean, when you got a running game, that's your best friend, and then the play-action bootleg off that is hard to defend. Back shoulder here, Christian, to Quintess Cephas. Yeah, 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 an actual pro-style throw, back shoulder to the receiver. You said it, Coach, a lot of rolling out, 15 to 23, 244 yards, three touchdowns, and most importantly, no picks. Mm. Roderick Shaw was uh, much of the ground game for Wisconsin, 59-10. And again, I, I wonder if that's really indicative because Utah State, they had the lead 10 nothing at one point in this they game. They played so hard. You're exactly right. They really out hit them the first quarter. Uh, a lot like Rutgers. They got after them physically. 
but they wear them down, wear them down with their size, speed, and then the bootleg, easy, nice passes for Horny Brook. Yeah, even Ohio State starting off slow against Indiana. You saw what happened with Washington and Rutgers, you know, getting up on them quick. And then uh, Wisconsin just really trying to almost like tiptoeing through the first couple quarters just to kind of find their way and find their stride. Once they got that running game going, they really opened up the play-action pass and really benefited them and th what they were able to do. Of those three winners, who feels the best going into the weekend? Would it be Colorado, Washington, or Wisconsin? Uh, I'm about to go with your Buffalo. Uh, well, I, I would say none of them. I mean, they all feel like probably feel but, like they have but, a lot but, left. And, that, and I know that's not a choice, but I'm making it a choice. They all, I'm going to tell you, so they all feel good as coaches. Yeah, I promise they feel good about the win. win. <laughs> One and oh. But now you can go in that meeting room and get on a Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pick Washington because that is a long flight home. Let's say you lost oh, that yeah, game. Oh, how zones. miserable would you You're be? Right. You're right. Three zones. <laughs> Rutgers played. They played. They did. They're That's getting amazing. better. Hey, hey, we'll consider Rutgers, that a win. Rutgers should feel good. Rutgers we'll feel good. that a win. Physical and tough. <laughs> yep. When we come back at Inside College Football, Zimbabwe, go RV. Check in on Service Academy Football, Army, Navy. Both had their ground games working, particularly the two quarterbacks. Wait till we show you what they did when we come back. I'm the neighbor with the orange tractor. I mow, I grow, and care for this place I call home. I'm always on the move, getting work done, because I want to be the best version of me. Right now, a Kubota L-Series tractor can be yours with 0% financing for up to 60 months. This is why I do it. Kubota. See your local Kubota dealer for details. are approaching. Deploy your defenses. Now this is gonna be fun. Join the adventure. Final Fantasy 15, A New Empire. Download and play now. Free from the App Store. This is what it's all about, Jamie. Helping small businesses. Damage vehicle? We got you covered. Property damage? That's what general liability's for. What? Injured employee? Oh. Workers' comp helps you pay for a replacement. What's happening? This is Carla. How's it going? And if anything comes up, our experts are standing by. Boo. Shop like a pro at Bass Pro Shops for huge savings, like savings of 50% on Redhead Wicking Camo T-shirts. Save $50 on this 30-inch digital electric smoker by Masterbuilt. Plus, free kids' activities this weekend. Strike a match, spark the conversation, and ignite those appetites. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. So come as you are, as long as you come hungry. Kingsford, start something. These are Domino's all-new Parmesan-dusted, garlic-seasoned, and cinnamon-sprinkled bread twists. How did we come up with such a clever name? <laughs> we'll never tell. Choose any two of Domino's new bread twists or medium two-topping pizzas for $5.99 each. It is hard work being this good. I must be nothing but a chump to you, bald head. Because it's hard work making something this pretty hey, look like a chump. Yo, can I get two out of three? Get up, get up, get up, we get there. Inside College Football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Go RVing. Find your away. Go RVing. Friday night on CBS Sports Network, Army impressive against Fordham at home, 64-6. Ahmad Bradshaw had a buck 77 and two touchdowns as the Black Knights take care of business and then some. And Navy. Early in the fourth, leading FAU 42-19. Zach A.B. has run for more than 200 yards. It's Lane Kiffin's debut, but they've had three delays. There's no end in sight. It's obviously past 1 a.m. local time there. Yes. So now, if you're Lane Kiffin, you're, you're not going to ever say, let's stop the game. You're not going to do that. He don't, he don't want to 